And good afternoon and welcome to WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97's coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey live with Randall Lindsay and we are in Vernon, Alabama. Lamar County High School and we got the Red Bay Tigers about to take on the ball club from Vernon. And if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, uh, pray for the internet as we always ask you to do that. And because if we don't have good internet, that means uh, that we don't have a good broadcast. By the way, we are streaming on Facebook and YouTube tonight, and uh, also on Twitter and Twitch. We're going to go there, and uh, we'll see if we can get Randall to go there and share it on his Facebook page as well. So if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, appreciate you being with us here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I see that we are streaming there, so it uh, looks pretty good. And uh, honored to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, uh, we got about a minute and 25 seconds before we get this uh, ball game underway. It'll be B-Team Action, brought to you by the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Raynard Fabianchi, Chibolo Eye Clinic, Dr. Ashley Horn Pickering, Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, and also Alpha Insurance is on our broadcast here today. Thank you, Kim Lindsay. So cute for you by Pro Concert. Terry Hayes does all your church sound systems and more. Bliss Aesthetics, uh, Miss Beverly Winchester Green. Call her at 256-460-9547. And you'll leave feeling like the most rejuvenated self for bookings. Once again, get in touch with Beverly Winchester Green. Tonight's broadcast also brought to you by Casey Lott, your attorney at the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi. Brandon Nunley Construction Company. Thank you, Brandon. 256-412-6500. Also, Swamp John's Triple H Electronics. David Offries, thank you. H.W. Watson, Kevin and Harold. Dr. Ramey Shook, your chiropractic specialist on a broadcast here today. By the Banner Tire Store. 8320 Fairview Banner Road. That is, of course, Jason Parker. 662-676-2177. Also on the broadcast today is 5-H Farms, Donovan Haley, Sophie Hudson, and Harper. Ellis Wooten with Brick Driven Realty, your North Alabama real estate specialist. Call them at 256-460-0598. Also, Gary Armstrong, it does all your doze your back old work. Call Gary, 256-810-4596 by Dr. Brad Genovan, uh, your medical doctor, family medical doctor at uh, Cox Boulevard in Sheffield. You can uh, call him at 256-383-4473, accepting new patients. Most insurance is accepted, Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, also, family medical care for all ages. Walk-ins are welcome. And, of course, he's married to the world-famous Sierra Hubbard, who graduated from Red Bay High School. And uh, thank you, Dr. Brad Jennifer. Thompson Gas Company, the most trusted name in propane. They're... they're uh, Pretty good sized company, and they take care of the hometown folks. And who does that? Dustin Chase Oliver, your hometown manager. You got any questions? Make sure you call 356 2194. Also, don't forget a uh, uh, game also brought to you by Bell Haven Heights, uh, now open inside historic Hotel Red Bay. Now offering a variety of coffees like uh, the get, uh, coffee shops, the espresso, frappe, the hot chocolate, cappuccinos, iced coffee, and uh, lots of selections to go and great items. 356 2200. That is Bell Haven Heights. 356 2200. Thank you uh, to the owner there, Miss Sherry Ferris. We're about ready to jump it off. Brought to you by Barry Cook CLC Spray Foam Insulation. 256 483 0140. And the tip is controlled by the team in those powder blues out there tonight, the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting, taking it down low. Shot is up, it is no good. Tigers with a rebound, but the kick out by Tabs is wide and a turnover against the Red Bay Tigers. So we're going to go the other way. Yeah. And the ball club from Vernon, Alabama will have it. Levi Brown will work that ball right side over to Gallup. Back out to number 24, that is Blackston Black. They're in the white uniforms. Vernon has the ball stolen away. Tabs taking it coast to coast. Dishes off to his teammate, number 12. And that's Jeremiah Thorne getting the basket and the Red Bay Tigers jump out to a two to nothing lead. Two nothing lead, Jeremiah Thorne with the basket. 
Driving it, kicking it over to number 15, and he'll kick it out in the corner for the long three. It's up and good. That ball knocked down there by Ballantin. And that was the three-pointer. We'll get that up on the board. We always have a lot of folks from uh, Vernon, Alabama, watching us on the broadcast. Driving down, kicking back for the long three right side. It's going to be short. Got his own rebound, and he is going to be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot. Five twenty to go. Red Bay Tigers. Number 13 pulls up with a shot. He got a good roll, and it's up good. That's his uh, Jackson there. That's uh, Jackson Vincent. Red Bay with a 4-3 to three lead. A little running shot there in the lane by number four. It's up and good. That's Ballantyne getting his fifth point of the ball game. It's a 5-4 to four score. Come on around, Randall. Other way. Yeah. Show the whole. Show the whole. Uh, yeah. Like, leave it right there. Show the whole thing. Long shot there. A three-pointer. That's one of those Community Spirit Bank three-pointers by Mr. Tabs. Community Spirit Bank member FDIC. Red Bay, Alabama. Long shot in the corner. It's up. It's no good. Tabs with a rebound. Tabs wearing number three. As yeah, these guys have got, I guess, new uniforms, new numbers, and whatever. And the Tigers sliding the baseline. And getting that basket there is Vincent at the 415 mark. And let's see if they're going to give him that basket or not. They do give him the basket finally. And the free throw is up. It is no good. And they're going to get the Tigers coming over the top. Jeremiah Thorne. Red Bay's got a 9-5 lead. We're in the first quarter live in Vernon, Alabama. Lamar County High School. Driving the baseline. A little running shot. Going to be too long. Jeremiah Thorne with a rebound, and the Tigers will push it up. Woodruff thought about the long three. Back over to Tebbs. Long shot. Woodruff, he's got the three and knocking it down. That's another one of those... Uh, Community Spirit Bank three-point shots. Don't forget the Community Spirit Bank member, FDIC. Community Spirit Bank, of course, in Red Bay and, of course, over in Belmont, Bina, Alabama, and also in Russellville, Alabama. Don't forget student and checking and savings accounts are available. Open one today. You can do that for just $1. 12 to 5, Red Bay. Valentine with a shot up, no good. Woodruff with a rebound. Out to Tabs. Tigers will push it up. Down low to Vincent. Vincent couldn't handle it, but able to save that ball back into Thorne. Thorne's running shot, no good. Rebound, the putback by Woodruff. Where's Miller at out there, Randall? Miller's fixing to check in. I was looking for him and Louie both and didn't see him, but I see him over the scores table. I looked down at the bench and there wasn't nobody down there there at the scores table. 14 to 5 the score. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company brought to you by Dr. Jim Neighbors, Dr. Stephen, and all the staff of the Neighbors Clinic. 356 9537. Also, the Red Bay Pharmacy building down in Weatherford, 356 4044. And Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent. 
right here in Red Bay. He's working Alabama and Mississippi both, doing a wonderful job. And he's been wanting to be able to ride insurance in Mississippi a long time, finally doing it. There's Tabs for the layup. It's up and no good. And the rebound out of bounds against Vernon. And Red Bay will have the basketball. Red Bay in their powder blues with the orange numbers there, trimmed a little blue on the RB on the leg there. Tabs with a minute 44 to go. Has that ball knocked out of bounds. Tigers tabs. Penetrated in a little bit, and then he'll back it out. Tabs drives in, lays it up. No good. Woodard from the backside, no good. He kicks that ball back out. Tabs open for the long community spirit bank three, and it's up and good. Don't forget, uh, they're proud of the Community Spirit Bank Tiger Branch here on the Red Bay campus. And once again, we appreciate Community Spirit Bank for doing that. It's a big-time help in the financial literacy and learning more about uh, how to do checking and savings accounts and how to manage money. Tigers got a steal here. Tigers are up by a score of 16 to 5. With 40 seconds to go, Woodruff couldn't get it. He got the rebound, put it back in good. Cameron tearing it up tonight for the Red Bay Tigers, who lead 18 to 5 in the first quarter. Number 24 with the ball at the top of the key is Braxton Bright, uh, Black. Brown drives and kicks it over to number 22, Cunningham. Back out to Valentine. He's got the only points in the game for them. And the Tigers knock it out of bounds and commit a foul. They're going to get tabs with that one. 18 to 5 is your score. We're down to 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. Valentine top of the key. Back to the right side, Gallup with a long three up, no good. Tigers with a rebound. Coming down, well, that one there was Mr. Miller. Long shot, Tabs, no good. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. We will move to the second quarter. We got an 18 to 5 ball game. You got to do me a favor if you're watching the game, make sure you share this broadcast. We're going to go over and say hi to some folks for you. If you'll do me a favor, uh, please let us know you're watching. And uh, the way you can let us know you're watching is actually uh, send us a comment. And we've got a few folks already watching our broadcast, but uh, we could get a lot more if you'd help me out. Once again, Red Bay Tiger Basketball brought to you today by Red Bay Trition, uh, Nutrition Smoothie and Juice Bar. And you can call them at 256-436-0495. Don't forget to need a little pick-me-up. Get one of those loaded tees. And, of course, they can get you all uh, hydrated up and then... Uh, Help out your immune system. They got some of those recovery teas that takes care of that for you. And wonderful folks taking care of uh, our broadcast here. Once again, thank you so much, Red Bay Nutrition. Shannon Oliver, a Franklin County Sheriff on the broadcast. Red Bay Reynolds, uh, of course, that is uh, uh, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. Says good luck to the Tigers here tonight. 784 7th Avenue, Southwest, 256-668-00. 3-9. Also, Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling on a broadcast. Your official York dealer, 356-8913. Also, the Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road. Stephanie, Denise, uh, I know Miss Denise is really working really hard over there to take care of you. 356-2358. Thank you, Miss Denise Glover. And also, Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971 on a broadcast here today. Ball turnover, and Red Bay will get the ball back. Louie will bring it down for the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers, Louie, over the corner. Louie back to Thorne. Thorne back to Vincent. Vincent drives into some traffic, stops, pulls up, no good. Rebound number 22, Trevor Cunningham. And we're going the other way with the ball club from Vernon. 
Vernon's shot is up, bank shot. Number 24 got that three-pointer. And I'm not sure if he called glass or not. Braxton Black, long shot by the Tigers, no good. Rebound, scramble for it. Coming up there is number one, Levi Brown. Levi pushing it up down to the baseline. And the Tigers are going to be charged with a foul. Aiden Pruitt may have been charged for that foul. We're in the second quarter. Red Bay leads by a score of 19 to 8. 19 to 8. And Lamar County threw the ball in. And he turned right around and threw it back to the guy that threw it in. He was still standing out of bounds. And he said, what are you throwing it back to me for? And, of course, I know he's going to give it back to him for him to bring it down. But he had not stepped inside the play. And that is a turnover against Lamar County. We've got the instant replay loading, and maybe the next shot uh, that deserves an instant replay, we, we might just do that for you. Jackson drives in, and he got it. You say, Jack Ivey, do you have the instant replay? Let's show it to you right now. There it is on the replay there, brought to you by Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook in Red Bay, Alabama. Five minutes and 10 seconds to go, 21 to 8. Levi Brown drives down, kicks it around to a teammate, and Tiger's going to end up stealing that ball. Good job by Vincent on the steal from Lamar County. Three tabs, drives all the way down, shot no good. Vincent, the putback is up good. We'll show you that in transition here in just a second. I think I've got that uh, transition down the floor, and you see the missed shot and the putback. We'll show that to you in a minute. 23 we we'll get our scoreboard up today here. 23 to 8, Red Bay leading. Rebound, Vincent again. Tigers pulling away with us. A long throw down the court, Vincent. Aiden. Vincent sees another little opening, drives in, puts it up. It's no good. Kicks that ball back out. Long shot. Ry Pruitt, no good. Louis wearing number 11 now. He was wearing another number, and that's really throwing me off, changing up these numbers on me. I'm not too bright anyway. 23 to 10, the scores. They get a basket. Number four got that one. Randall, he's got uh, just about every basket. He's got seven out of their 10 points. 3.49 to go. All the Tiger fans gathering right down below us here, Randall. Long shot taps, it's up three-pointer. That's another one of those community spirit bank threes. And the Tigers lead uh, by a score of 26 to 10, 26 to 10. I'll show you, I was gonna show that in transition earlier, the uh, replay, and I'm gonna show you. Tigers get the ball, pushing it up the court. Braden drives all the way in, puts it up no good, and there's Vincent with a putback. That's on our Alpha Insurance replay brought to you by Mr. John Cook. I've missed a basket or two, but uh, Tigers off to a good start. 3.35 to go second quarter. Brought to you by your hometown, Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, Red Bay, Iuka, the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council. And also, don't forget the Red Bay Hospital, Miss Sherry Jolly and the staff. Long three-point shot, Valentine, no good. Rebound underneath the basket. And now we're going to have a walk, and they're going to give it to who? Vernon? There's a world famous Dr. Ramey Shook checking in to the Vernon gym. I know he's been working hard today. He is getting a front row seat right down below. Twenty-six to ten. Jack Ivy Randall Lindsay live here from WRMG. Tigers tabs. Lost control of the basketball, stolen away. We're going the other way. 
Valentine thought about it in the corner. Back out to Brown. Brown over to number 24. He said, let me try another one of them threes. Valentine, free throw line shot, no good. Rebound. Goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Miller drives in, and they're going to get him with a walk. 26-10 is your score. Thank you, Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, along with Redmond Heating and Cooling. Thank you, Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569, and also Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and his staff on the broadcast. And the layup is up good. That'll make it 26 to 12. Mr. Levi Brown on that basket there. 26 to 11. Somehow I ended up hitting it at extra time. Long three point shot. Number 12 getting that one. You know who that is, don't you? That's Mr. Jeremiah Thorne. That'll make it 29 to 11. I will correct that for you if you'll give me just a half a second here. They'll probably score before I get it fixed. 29 to 11. We're down to a minute and 25 to go. And the Tigers going to lose that basketball. There's a foul. And it's going to belong to Vernon. Huh? Lamar County with the basketball, number four. Kicks that ball back over here to number 22. That's Mr. Cunningham. 29 to 12. Driving the basket baseline, kicking back out to Ballantyne. Shot no good. Red Bay with a rebound. Louis with a basketball, and I believe he is going to be fouled. Nope, they said he stepped out of bounds. Lord, them some heavy seats, ain't you? Twenty-nine to twelve is the score. Forty-four seconds to go in the second quarter. All Red Bay Tigers here live. Shot is up. You know, Randall, I went to the trouble of taking that point off. And there's a shot up. And the Tigers get a basket there. Was that Louie? Louie getting that basket. Good job, Landon. That'll make it 31 to 12. 15 seconds to go. Number two, a little running shot. No good. Number two is Hunter Gallup. Tigers with four seconds to go. Louie will shoot it at the buzzer and almost went in. So that is your score at halftime, 31 to 12. Red Bay Tigers, 31 to 12, Red Bay Tigers. If you're after joining us on a broadcast, appreciate you being with us here on WRMG, TV 12, and also Television 97. What you want to read? Thirty-one to twelve, Jack Ivy live for WRNG TV twelve and also Television ninety-seven. You're not allowed to. I was trying to get Mr. Bill to sit down over here. I think he's about trying to get in position to run Randall's camera over here. Thank you, Edward Jones. He's been ranked highest in investor satisfaction with a full-service brokerage firm. We're talking about, of course, the world-famous Mike Jones. He's been serving Franklin, Tishomingo, Etiwamba County now for like 20 years. 
and that number 7924. Also, I want to thank Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent out on Highway 19, Community Spirit Bank since 1908. I want to thank Stadium Pros. A big shout out to Carl and Karen Louie back at the home front. Hoping they'll be able to be at the game tomorrow night. Couldn't make it down here tonight, but I see some of the family here. So, Carl, you and Karen. Uh, I don't know where Karen didn't come or not, but I know Carl and a little under the weather tonight. So, hopefully they'll be able to make it uh, out to the Belmont and Red Bay game tomorrow night and some of the county tournament next week. Thank you, State Senator Larry Stutz on a broadcast. Good luck to the Red Bay Tigers. All the area teams within his area and working hard for you every day as State Senator Larry Stutz. And uh, always an honor to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey live. We got, of course, the world famous Randall Lindsay with us here today. I uh, want to say hello to all the folks that are watching out there. And if you'll do me a favor, shoot me a little message, a text, or whatever, and say, hey, Jack Ivey, we're, we're watching and maybe where you're watching from. We always, we always like to hear from you. So if you'll send us a message and let us know you're out there watching, we sure would appreciate it. Once again, this is WRNG TV 12 and also Television 97. Thanks to the wonderful folks like Miss Reynolds. How you doing, Miss Carol? I'm good. You're doing good? You're not Carol. I know who you are. Did I, did I not see Carol come up through here a while ago? Lord, how much I've lost my mind. And you do know her, right? Do y'all favor? Yeah, I know. I, I knew that, but I should know better and stuff. Where's the boss at? She's supposed to say sure she's the boss. And I was asking about Chris, but uh, Valerie, I'm sorry, but uh, you can tell Carol that I got y'all mixed up by momentarily and stuff. Randall wanted to know how much those seats weighed. They look like they're pretty heavy. They are pretty heavy. That sounds good. Appreciate you a bunch. Chris and Valerie Moore are out at Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, and, of course, a big sponsor on the game. And we we'll appreciate uh, Miss Carroll and all the folks at Sunshine Homes on our broadcast here today as well. Thank you to Eaton Funeral Home of Red Band Belmont, serving the area since 1945. Also on the broadcast is David Hester, our county commissioner on our broadcast. And, of course, David is in district number four. Tiffin Motorhomes, along with Tiffin Supply and Tiffin Appliance Company, Tri-State Insurance. Thank you, uh, Miss Brenda Purser on our broadcast. Uh, also, a thank you to Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick, trying to meet all your high-reach needs. 662-279-7500. Bay Health and Wellness. That is, of course, uh, um, Kayla Humphreys and her staff. Call them at 256-376-2036. And once again, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning on our broadcast. Um, Chris and Valerie Marr. Uh, of course, I'm sitting up here beside uh, Miss Marr is up here pretty close by. And her mom. Silver Dollar Bargains on our broadcast located 75 Red Bay Road, Golden. With the locations in Tupelo and in Hamilton, Alabama. Silver Dollar Bargains, big sponsor of the game today. And also Miller's Affordable Furniture. And that's Jason Miller and, of course, Mr. Terry. They're over in Russellville, Alabama. Jason Miller, our County Commissioner, District 2 on a broadcast. Also, Greg Hamilton, our Superintendent of Education and our world-famous uh, school board member representing District Number 5. She loves the Tigers and loves to represent the Tigers, Casey Johnston. Miss Casey, thank you so much for being a part of our broadcast here tonight. we got Mr. Micah Funderburg, 662-262-3569. That's Funderflow Commercial and Residential Pressure Washing. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Like I say, it's an always an honor to be able to bring the games to you here on your hometown station. And remember, we could not do without you. So keep it right here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company.
Jack Ivey back live for WRMG with Randall Lindsay. We're live here in Vernon, Alabama, Lamar County. As the Red Bay Tigers had a wonderful first half. And they lead as we start the third quarter, 31 to 12. 31 to 12. And the Tigers Miller with a basketball. Louie works that ball left side to Miller. Honored to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Tigers lose that ball down low from Tabs. Picked up by Lamar County. We were heading the other way. Number two penetrating in. Gallup puts it up. His shot blocked. And there's going to be a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. They're going to get Vincent with that one. So they'll go to the line and shoot with 6-12 to go third quarter. And the free throw is up good. He'll have another shot coming. And it's good. That'll make it 31 Red Bay, 14 for the Bulldogs. Vernon Bulldogs, Lamar County High School. We're in Vernon, Alabama. Tabs, top of the key to Thorne, now to the right side to Miller. Jackson Vinson, top of the key, left side, Thorne. Thorne penetrates a little bit, comes over to Louie. Louie down to the baseline. And a ball out of bounds that'll go to Vernon. Clock running at 5.36, and the pull-up jump shot there, but number two, Hunter Gallup is up and good. 31 to 16. Benson top of the key, he's open for the long three. It's up, it's good. And that'll be another one of them uh, Community Spirit Bank three-point shots by Jackson Vincent. And the Tigers have got a steal. Tabs with a basketball. Braden with a basketball brings it back out top. Vincent he is going to draw a foul. Thank you, folks, for watching our broadcast. We're live in Vernon. Jack Ivey here on the Microphone and Randall Lindsay giving you those uh, great shots there. And the inbound play set up nicely by the Red Bay Tigers. And Mr. Miller got that basket. Randall is, uh, have you had a chance to grade the film for uh, Dean Hubbard yet? B minus. What did you need to work on? Dean's probably listening right now. You, you haven't sat down and gone over it with him yet, have you? You are going to go over it with him? Dean Hubbard ran the camera for me. Randall had to go down to, uh, where'd you go? Smithville. And Dean Hubbard ran the camera for me over there in that Belmont and Elkmont game. Long shot up, it's no good. Rebound out of bounds, last touch by Jackson Thorne. Thirty-six to sixteen, Red Bay Tigers in the third quarter leading. Louie will check out. And Thorne will check out for the Tigers. And Vernon's got it in. Tigers have got a steal. Mr. Pruitt hands off to Miller. Miller lays it up no good. And the turnaround put up no good 
by Cameron Woodruff and a ball out of bounds that still belong to the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers will inbound it with 3.48 to go in the third quarter. There's Vincent, another Community Spirit Bank three. This time it won't go. Picked up by Levi Brown. Also into the ball game is Lebron Hollis. Back to Ballantyne. Thirty-six to sixteen. Burner with the ball and tries to go down to Hollis. Hollis. Kind of went through his hands and the ball stolen away. I'm not sure Hollis was ready for it. Now we throw it away, but it's uh, off the hands of the Tigers. Don't forget our wonderful sponsors uh, on our broadcast. We told you about Micah Funderwork and Funderflow. We also told you about uh, Bay Tree Gift Company. Brand new owner, of course, Beverly Winchester Green. They're right next door to WRNG. Got a lot of great specials right now, by the way. Beautiful gifts for any occasion. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. You might ought to start thinking what you're going to get that sweetheart for Valentine's Day, and I know they'd appreciate your business. I haven't asked them, but I know they're going to be delivering for Valentine's. Tabs down low. Vincent shot up good, and the Red Bay Tigers on the board again to make it 38-16. to Vincent's had a really good game for the Tigers. Unofficially nine, I know I've missed a basket or two somewhere, and I don't know where they go to. And the layup by number two is Hunter Gallup. That'll make it 38 to 18. Thank you, wonderful sponsors on our broadcast with 2.07 to go. They include Predator Pest Control, Clay and Ted Weatherford, and Mr. Aidy Deaton. All your termite problems. Folks, you need to have you house checked out. Those things are hidden and by the time you find them it's too late by the time they show up so they got a lot of experience when it comes to dealing with the termite issues. 662-315-2841 gets you in touch with Mr. Eddie Deaton. Braden Tabs drives in for the layup. It's up and no good. Appreciate Dickie Sparks CPA. Six locations to serve you. And you say, where are they at? Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Sheffield, Boonville, and Corinth. Long three-pointer in the corner, no good. Red Bay is Miller coming up with a rebound. Thank you for sharing our broadcast. If you've not shared it, uh, you won't get a, uh, a prize after the game. And Mr. Tabbs driving in, getting that basket. Red Bay Tigers are hit 40 on the board now. Leads 40 to 18. We're still in the third quarter, 58 seconds. Vincent takes the long pass, puts it up no good. Got his own rebound, put it up again no good. Woodruff this time kicks it back to Tabs. He'll try one of those Community Spirit Bank threes. It's no good, and Vernon, Levi Brown, with the rebound. And now he has the ball stolen away. Tabs. Tabs drives. Kicks it off Woodruff. Woodruff puts it up. It's no good. Woodruff takes it back out. Vincent's got it. He goes up. It's no good. Tigers can't buy a basket. We are going to go to the line to shoot. Randall, the score is Belmont, uh, not rather Belmont, but Red Bay and Vernon, 40 to 18. Tomorrow night is Belmont coming to town. Six o'clock. Uh, I'm not for sure if there's any other games, but I know the JV or the varsity. I think plays at 6 o'clock. Thorne and Louie checking back into the ballgame. Tabs out of the ballgame and Jeremiah Thorne, uh, Miller out of the game. Vincent at the free throw line. Free throw is no good. Rebound Thorne. Over to Vincent. Now to Mr. Pruitt. Jeremiah Thorne with a three, no good, with 17 seconds to go. It'll go to Vernon. Thank you, folks, for watching, and uh, thank uh, 
these uh, Vernon Bulldogs for having some good internet down here tonight. So far, it's working really, really good. So, Randall, the folks don't know how much we need good internet, and uh, thank you so much. Shirley Burleson Hughley watching from Muscle Shows, Alabama. We got one second to go. And the Tigers not aware of how much time's on the clock. And if you'll look, I'll put uh, on the screen the right hand side. We just switch into the fourth quarter. Red Bay leads 40 to 18. 40 to 18. Thank you, Cash and Thermal Plastics. Appreciate Chuck and his great staff there, Franklin Electric. See, are you the CEO or CEO? CEO, Randall says he's the CEO out here. Thank you, Franklin Electric, serving Red Bay Franklin County. CBNS Bank with Mary Ellen Allen. Sunshine Meals, makers of that great cat food and dog food by Big Star of Red Bay. And also don't forget Community Spirit Bank bringing you the threes tonight. And, of course, bringing you the uh, instant replays tonight will be Alpha Insurance. Thank you, Dr. Fabianchi, 356-9511. Tupelo Eye Clinic, call for an appointment. Uh, she specializes in everything, but especially cataract surgery. We're talking about our own Ashley Horn Pickering. Doctor, thank you so much. 662-844-7211 for an appointment. They offer routine eye exams, glasses, contacts, cataract surgery, exams for diabetes, glaucoma, macular degeneration. 662-844-7211. Also, Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic on our broadcast. 301 Jackson Avenue, downtown Russell. Whether it's injuries, drug and alcohol testing, or DOT testing, they got you covered. And also John Cook at Alpha Insurance on our broadcast. Kim Lindsay, so cute for you on our broadcast. Does all your screen printing and long grammy. You can check her out on Facebook or call 256-668-0142. Back to action here. The Red Bay Tigers will get it after the missed opportunity by the Vernon Bulldogs. Remember to send us a message if you're watching the game as the ball is out of bounds. Randall, we've been playing uh, some of the old basketball games, and we're getting more and more where we can. We've got them all, but we're converting them over to the hard drive so it'll be easy to play them back so you don't have to be there and play them off of a DVD in just a little bit, Randall. A little bit more, and leave it right there and just follow it there. Inside, shot up, Vernon, no good. Rebound, Mr. Woodruff in there got the rebound to Miller. Miller's going to bring it all the way down, lay it up with that left hand, no good. And he is going to be fouled. Let's take another look at that as he'll take it coast to coast, dribbling that left hand. Almost went faster than Randall. And he'll go to the line. World famous Brandon Colburn. Getting ready to watch the Riley and the Lady Tigers here in a minute. Don't forget uh, Pro Concert Terry Hayes, all your church sound systems and more. Camera systems, streaming setups, full line of musical instruments as well. Forty-one after the free throw. Eighteen, and Jeremiah Thorne has this pocket picked. Levi Brown, number twenty-two, is open for the shot. Cunningham, no good. Red Bay with a rebound there, Mister. Louis with the ball, and Gallup is going to be charged with a foul. Remember, if you hadn't uh, sent us a little note, let us know you're watching the broadcast. Appreciate you, if you will. We got uh, Shirley Hughley out there watching. For some reason, my phone's not putting the messages up there. Forty-one to eighteen. Forty-one to eighteen. Louie on the left side at the 457 mark. Red Bay 41 to 18. Red Bay B team. Tabs 
Kicks it over the corner of the long three-point shot. It's up and good. I believe that was Mr. Miller. Let's take another look at that one. The three-point shot, good. Let's look one more time. And there it is, good. And that was on our Alpha Insurance replay. Tell him I got him on the replay up here. 44 to 18, 44 to 18. Red Bay on top with 4.28 to go. As Mr. Jackson Miller knocked down that three. And now the ball stolen away. Louie runs into traffic. He's up no good. <laughs> 44 to 18 with 4.17 to go. And Louie at the line shooting free throws up good. Good job, Landon. And the free throw good. That looked like the smoothness of a Karen Louie free throw. 46 to 18, Red Bay on top. And we've got a over and back charged against number 21. That's Malik Walker. Number one checking in is Levi Brown. He's coming in for number 24, Braxton Black will check out. With the 408 mark, we got the girls coming up in just a second here on WRMG. And a steal by Levi Brown. Levi for the layup, it's up good. That's a good steal by Levi, anticipating that one. 46 to 20, Red Bay on top. Braden Tabs. Louie kicks it over. Another three-pointer from the other side, this time a little bit long by Mr. Miller. Jeremiah Thorne will check in. So Cameron Woodruff will check in. Vincent will check out. And looks like Aiden Pruitt will check out. Franklin County Varsity Basketball Tournament live from Bell Green next week. Looks like about four trips to Bell Green. Some nights may only be one game, but it looks like about four trips. Forty-six to twenty. Three fourteen to go. Jack Ivy and Randall Lindsay. See all the kiddos getting taped up across the way. And shot is up by Thorne. Up and good. Nicely done there by Mr. Thorne. You'll see him go up. Let's, let's look at that one more time. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And they go for a layup. No good. We got a rebound. Miller's got it. Red Bay Tigers lead 48 to 20. Don't forget Dr. Ramey Shook at Shook Chiropractic. He's your specialist in Golden, Mississippi. Shot up with the Tigers, no good. Braden Tabbs coming out over the rebound. The long shot by Louie, no good. Back to the top of the key on the pass from Jeremiah Thorne. We're at the 216 mark. Long shot by the Tigers. No good. Thank you, Bliss Aesthetics. New to Red Bay owner, Beverly Winchester Green, licensed esthetician. And of course, you can call her 256 460 9547. Louie with a basketball. Whether it's facial, skin care, sugar hair removal. She specialized in a lot of different stuff. And she can take care of you in the big city of Red Bay, Alabama. Where's your food at? Four 
50 to 20 the score. The Red Bay Tigers trying to get their make it 51 to 20. Long shot over in the corner, no good. Woodruff got the rebound. Out to Mr. Louie there with the broadcast tonight, brought to you by Casey Lott. We're wide open for Thorne on the layup. It's up good. 53 Red Bay. 20 for the ball club from Vernon. They turn it over again. Here comes Pruitt. Pruitt taking him one-on-one, -on -one, lays it up no good. The putback is up no good by the Tigers. And the putback again is up and good. Finally, Louie got that one to go in. Red Bay leads 55 to 20 with 53 seconds to go. Long shot, no good, 48 seconds. And that's going to be an over and back, but the Tigers going to pick the ball up, so that won't matter. Down to 22, Miller, no good. Miller got it again. This time it goes in good. 57 to 20, 57 to 20. Red Bay Tigers. Going to win this BT game handily. Woodruff for the rebound. He's foul. And it will be a one and one for Red Bay. Thank you, Miss Shirley Hoogley. And I don't know who else is watching, but uh, y'all help me get the word out. Varsity Girls is coming up next. Live here in Vernon, Alabama on this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Fifty-seven to twenty, and we're down to ten seconds to go. Randall, somehow your camera got away back again. I don't know how. And the final score: fifty-seven to twenty. Fifty-seven to twenty. We'll put that one going final. Make sure we got all this posted right. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Once again, this is your Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, the final score, Red Bay wins it 57 to 20. 57 to 20. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you, Community Spirit Bank, making the threes possible tonight. And also Alpha Insurance for taking care of our three-point shots here tonight. Once again, this is your hometown station live from Lamar County uh, in Vernon, Alabama. We'll get that scoreboard corrected and get ready for the girls game in just a second. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We'll let you watch the Tigers warm up, and we'll get ready for the girls game coming up next. This is the IV Broadcasting Company.
Now the starting lineups for the Red Bay Tigers. Starting lineups there for Lamar County and the starting lineups for the Red Bay Tigers. It'll be Abby Butler, Juliana Collins, we got uh, Kylie Land, we got Katie Collins, and also we got uh, Maddie Thompson starting for the ball club for Lamar County. Red Bay Tigers won the last time by two points. And Randall Lindsay, if my memory is correct, 41 points by Lindley. Now, we can't expect Lindley to get 41 points tonight. By the way, we're missing, uh, of course, Madeline, and she's tore her ACL, got to have surgery, going to miss the rest of basketball. And, and Madeline, we are so sad that, uh, that you did have this injury. We wish you were here tonight, but uh, we know you're going to come through this with flying colors and be back to – normal before too long and uh, continue your career whether it might be uh, playing a little volleyball or just uh, life in general so Madeline we love you and we uh, pray that you'll have a successful surgery and everything will be good Tigers with the steal the Tigers are in blue Lamar County the Vernon Bulldogs are in white 732 to go they're putting a lot of pressure on us and right now, there's no score in the ball game. Long three-point shot and a three-pointer to start the game. And that is Lindley getting the Red Bay Tigers on the board with a community Spirit Bank three-point shot. Don't forget, send cash fast with Spirit Pay. Person-to-person -person payments at Community Spirit Bank. Three-nothing Red Bay Tigers. Lamar County has the ball stolen away. It's loose. We're going to end up having a jump. Red Bay's going to get the basketball. So Red Bay's got a 3-0 lead. We're in the first quarter. Red Bay only scored about 50 points last time, and now they give the ball to Vernon. Red Bay uh, had Lindley got 41 out of the 50 points scored. Got number 24 out front, handle the ball over to number three. Three, of course, is Abby Butler. Back to 24. 24 is Collins. Also got number 12, Land out there. Land's over here on the right wing. They try to go in the middle of the ball, stolen away by the Tigers. Mason got it. Mason Nichols, uh, number four out there for the Red Bay Tigers, is Juliana Eaton, and the ball out of bounds. So the Tigers on the floor has got Juliana Eaton, J.C. Vinson, Amber Mason, Shelby Nichols, and Kaylee Lindley. Tigers a little 2-2-1 press. Aggravate the Bulldogs a little bit on this press. You never know when they might make a bad pass or you might be able to step inside. You just got to stay back. Lindley got the block. As they did kind of get it behind us a little bit, but a good job by Lindley to figure that one out and get back in time. We've got a foul against Lamar County. 6.03 to go. We're in the first quarter. Do me a favor, please. If you enjoy our coverage and you're getting to stay at home tonight, you couldn't come, but if you're getting to watch a game in your recliner, you're watching on the big screen on YouTube or Facebook, at least share the broadcast for us and uh, send a little message this way. The players go back and read your comments and wish them good luck. So if you're on Facebook under Jack Ivy Broadcasting, make sure you comment. Let us know how it looks and sounds. And say good luck to the Tigers out there. Good luck to your favorite players out there. 3 nothing. Another foul this time against uh, Vernon. And now Vincent has the ball stolen away. Stealing that ball was number five, Juliana Collins. Thank you, Deanna Stevens, checking out. Tomorrow night we'll have Belmont and Red Bay. And we got a 30-second timeout. 
by the Vernon Bulldogs. Coach not too pleased with the start of the game for the Vernon Bulldogs. 5.39 to go. Honored to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG. Remember to share this broadcast and we'll have more and more folks watching the broadcast. It's real easy. Today's game brought to you by Casey Lott, your attorney at the largest personal injury law firm in Northeast Mississippi. Of course, he's got attorneys licensed Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. His team is ready to work with you. Personal injury, pharmaceutical product, liability cases, and more. Casey Lott and his legal team are ready to work for you. 662-554-4000. Also, Brandon Nunley Construction Company is on our broadcast as well. Tigers knock it out of bounds. Good job by Lindley. Brandon's number 256-412-6500. I guarantee if Brandon's not here tonight, they are watching the game right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you, Swamp Johns, on the broadcast. All the fish on Thursdays and, of course, chicken on a stick on Friday. Long shot, no good. Rebound, Juliana Eaton. Tigers once again without the services of Madeline Eaton for the rest of the season. Madeline going to have surgery in a day or two and tore that ACL. A block shot from behind, and Vinson retaliates with a foul, trying to get that ball back. 3 nothing. We've played three minutes. Neither team uh, lighting it up just yet. Thank you, Triple H Electronics, H.W. Watson Logging Company. They buy your timber, timberland. Harold can be reached, 256-810-8141. And he was sitting down right below us. I don't see him right this minute. I see his wife down there. Dr. Ramey Shook, chiropractic specialist, located 27 Red Bay Road, 454-7792. They're accepting Tiffin's insurance right now. So if you're struggling with neck pain or back pain, see Dr. Ramey Shook. Lamar County getting multiple opportunities at it. All brought to you by great, great sponsors like Banner Tire Store. Thank you, Jason. Our three-point shots brought to you by Community Spirit Bank. And the Tigers, Shelby Nichols, is going to be charged with a foul. It's a 3-0 ball game. They're going to go to the line and shoot. And the free throw is up and good. That'll make it a 3-1 ball game. And the free throw is up. It is no good. Red Bay Vinson with a rebound. Number five shooting free throws for them was Butler. Tigers shot up good. And a good job there by the Red Bay Tigers. We'll take a quick look at that in transition. Vinson down to Lindley. Lindley fakes, drives it off the glass good. And the Red Bay Tigers. And now they go down and shoot a three. Number 24 got it. And now it's a five to four ball game. Red Bay will have the basketball, leading five to four, 356 to go. Tigers lose it again, nice loose on the floor. And if it is a jump, it is going to be Red Bay Tiger basketball. And the Tigers has it stolen away again, and they swapped it from Vincent, and Vincent immediately commits her second foul. They'll play it underneath their own basket. So the Tigers, too many turnovers here early, even though we lead five to four, and there's a foul from behind. Is that Nichols they got that time? Randall, was that Nichols? So Nichols with two fouls, Vincent with two fouls. And number 24 checking in is Gretchen Davis. And a steal 
She tried to save it back in, but saved it back into Vernon, and Vernon shot is up good, and she is foul. They'll go to the line to shoot. Randall is at uh, 34, right? That's uh, Maddie Thompson getting that basket. She's foul. And she makes the free throw on top of that. And Lamar County now leads 7-5 to five over the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers have turned that ball over again. We're having trouble getting the ball down the court. Twenty-four Collins works that ball right side to Maddie Thompson. Thompson goes to the cut to number twelve. Her shot no good. They get a backside rebound with Butler. Collins with a basketball over to Thompson. Thompson at the top of the key. She's got it back. Shot up no good and a foul against Eaton underneath. Six team fouls against the Red Bay Tigers. Only two against the ball club from Vernon, and yes, we have committed six fouls. And the free throw is up, it is good. Gets one out of two. That'll make it eight, and we have got another timeout this time uh, by the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Tiger basketball, the production of Ivy Broadcasting, brought to you by the Banner Tire Store. 8320 Fairview Banner Road, that's uh, Jason Parker. Got uh, tires of all kinds. And Ellis Wooten at Brick Driven Realty, your real estate specialist from North Alabama. Need to buy or sell? I promise you he'll go to work for you day and night. 256-460-0598. So for all your real estate needs, it's Ellis Wooten. Gary Armstrong, it does all your dozer backhoe work on a broadcast. Big shout out to Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971. Also Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr. By Thompson Gas Company, Dr. Brad Genovan at Show's Primary Care, 340 Cox Boulevard in Sheffield. 383-4473. And the Tigers take into the hoop. He is going to be foul. And we'll go to the line and shoot. Shooting for the Red Bay Tigers will be number 24, Gretchen Davis. We trail by three, eight to five, and the free throw by Davis is no good. There's Deborah Klingen Clark out there checking in with us. We got anybody else sending us messages tonight? Free throw no good, eight to five. Number 24 drives, sidesteps, and puts it up good. Number 24 got that basket. She's got five unofficial in the game, and Juliana Eaton will take it in for the Tigers. Tigers turned it over again, and they're going to have a backside layup. Good. Number 12 got that one. Kylie Land with the basket, and we're down 12 to 5. Lindley takes it coast to coast and puts it up good. And Lindley has got all seven points for the Tigers tonight. Tigers have, have got to put the ball in her hands. She hadn't touched it a bunch. And she finally got her hand on the ball. She scored. Long shot in and out. No good. Rebound Eaton has got it. And Eaton finally gets it to Lindley. Lily is not messing around. She gets that ball to the other end of the court, and she is going to be fouled by number 12. That is Kylie Land going to be charged with a the foul. They're going to have a couple of new girls check out. Two and four will check in. That's uh, Anna Spann checking in. And the long shot in the corner, three-pointer by Lindley is up and good. That's one of those community spirit bank three-point shots. Don't forget, contactless payments are available via Apple and Android Pay from Community Spirit Bank. 12 to 10, the score. And the Tigers 
almost get a steal, but it's out of bounds. It'll go to the ball club from Lamar County. Long shot, no good. Rebound's going to get out of bounds. It's going to go to the Red Bay Tigers. Twelve to ten, the score. Number two drive shot, no good. Rebound. Lindley's got it, and Lindley's going to be fouled by Anna Span. Randall, check your phone. I don't. They've got a number four out there, and we didn't have them on our roster. Randall's got the book from last time. See if they've got a number four on there from last time. Maybe somebody they moved up. Do the game first, just down here. Huh? No, no four. And the Tigers turn it over. They're going to go for a layup. It's up and good. Number 34 got that one. That is Maddie Thompson getting it. That'll make it 14 to 10. Riley Coburn into the ball game. Coburn to Mason. Mason stops, puts it up. It's no good. Got to use that backboard. That's what they used to preach to us back in the day. Use the glass, use the glass. Mason shot that one over the basket and uh, might have put it in that little square up there. He might have got that basket. So, kiddos, don't forget that uh, backboard is there for a reason. 14 to 10, Red Bay trailing. Juliana Eaton, shot good. Good job, Juliana. Two-point shot with 34 seconds to go. We're down by two in the first quarter. Live coverage here brought to you by Thompson Gas Company. Thank you, Dustin Chase Oliver. They'll match anybody's price at Thompson Gas. Bellhaven Heights is on a broadcast. We'll tell you about Miss Sherry Ferris here in just a minute. She's the owner. Got a baby and bridal registry available. And what's got a lot of folks excited now, offering a variety of coffees like, uh, like the coffee shops. Espressos, frappes, hot chocolate, cappuccino, iced coffee. Great, great selection. Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5, 9 to 1 on Saturday. And if the hours change, we'll let you know here on the broadcast when they let us know. So don't forget Bell Haven Heights gifts open inside the Hotel Red Bay. They got bere bereavement gifts available, unique <laughs> gifts, great finds, delivery available in the city. Some grab and go lunches available as well, including the chicken salad sandwiches, the pimento cheese wraps. Grilled chicken salads at the cheesecake for dessert, 356 2200. 15 to 12 is your score. Do I now? Fifteen to twelve. We got a lap, it's no good. And they get back, and they're going to get another layup on the other end. Number 34 got that one. And that is the end of the first quarter. So J.C. Vinson got that last foul, did you say? Amber Mason. Amber Mason got that last foul. Randall, I'm sorry, I can't hear or read lips. Randall was trying to tell me, and... Uh, I didn't know who he was saying, uh, Mason. Randall, get these uh, cheerleaders. You already are. All right, let's listen in. Glad to have these young ladies from Red Bay High School, the cheerleaders in attendance here tonight. Pretty long trip, midweek for the cheerleaders. A lot of time cheerleaders just cheer at home games, but not these Lady Tigers here tonight. So hats off to you, Lady Tiger cheerleader sponsors, for making that happen tonight. 17 to 12. 
as we start the second quarter live here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company, and we got a walk against Vernon. Thank you, Barry Cook, CLC, Spray Foam Insulation. Proud to be sponsoring the Tigers here tonight. 256 483 Feel more comfortable, lower energy bills, and much more. Thank you, Barry. Back door. The layup is up good for the Tigers. Great feed in there by the Tigers' uh, Lindley. And guess who got that basket? Gretchen Davis. Seventeen is the score to fourteen. Seventeen to fourteen. Seven twenty-five to go. Who do you give that foul on? Juliana is her second foul. We got Vincent with a couple. Shelby Nichols with a couple. And that free throw is up and good. She'll have another one coming. This is number two. And a span. And a free throw up good. Nineteen now to fourteen. Tigers down to Davis. Davis for the layup. It's up and good. We'll see the tail end of that one. Beautiful pass. And the Davis layup, that's on the Alpha Insurance replay. Brought to you by John Cook, Alpha Insurance, downtown Red Bay, Alabama. So Gretchen, a couple of big baskets there in the last little bit. Makes it a 19 to 16 ball game. And now they turn it over. Defense helping out a little bit. Number five will check back in, Juliana Collins. Ava Salters will check out. Eaton with the ball, has the ball tied up. Red Bay's still going to have it. Nineteen to sixteen, six fifty-five to go. Eaton gets that ball into Lindley. Lindley goes around number two, and Lindley is going to be charged with a walk. Nineteen to sixteen with six fifty to go. They will have the basketball at midcourt. Eighteen fouls against Red Bay, five against Lamar County. Good give and go there. And Twenty-four missed it, and we're going to have a jump on the rebound. Good job by Davis and number twenty-four tying that ball up. Good hustle, ladies. Katie Collins. Vernon will have the basketball underneath their own basket, leading 19 to 16. And the ball out of bounds. Good defense over there for the Tigers. J.C. Vinson. Number 12, I believe, checking back in will be Kylie Land. Coming in for number 34, Maddie Thompson. 19 to 16. Honored to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG. And that, they wanted it over and back, but she was actually going back to catch that ball. So we'll give her credit for that. Nineteen to sixteen, our score. So the Tigers commit a foul. Nineteen sixteen, six twenty-three to go. Who got that foul, Randall? That's JC's third foul of the game. She'll have to check out. And Mason will check in. Twenty to sixteen now. Burning on top. That free throw no good. Number three had the inside position. Got a rebound. Kicks it out in the corner. They'll shoot a shot. No good. They get the rebound again. They'll go back to the basket. And no good. And a foul against the Tigers. 
may get Gretchen Davis with this one. They've got the scoreboard here where you can put a foul up, but it'd blow your mind how many places you go to that do, does not put the foul up. Buy a cheaper scoreboard next time. Don't even get one where you can do that if you're not going to use it, Randall. You pay to have a nicer scoreboard where you can put up where Jack Ivey can look or anybody else to see who made that foul because the, the guy, the referee is looking the other way when he puts up the numbers to tell who made the foul. So it's, and I, we can't see who's making the foul. And they don't put it up on the board. So it's 21 to 16, Red Bay and Lindley is going to be foul. She'll go to the line to shoot Lindley in the game for the Red Bay Tigers. Brought to you by Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, by Dr. Jim and Stephen Neighbors at the Neighbors Clinic. Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford on a broadcast here today. Lindley's free throw, no good. Appreciate the Cardinal drive-in. Thank you, Miss Denise. And that free throw by Lindley is good. 21 to 17, Red Bay Tigers trailing. You got your school board down at the bottom. Number three heading toward the basket, and she draws a foul. We'll go to the line. And the Tigers, Eaton, is going to be charged with a foul. I know Juliana's got three now. So the Tigers have got some foul issues. Vinson with three fouls. Juliana Eaton with three fouls. Shelby Nichols has got two for sure. 22-17. 5.35 to go. Five thirty-five to go. Here is the free throw up and good. Their number three got it. To make it 23. And we've got a timeout. We'll update the score for you. 23-17, 5.35 to go. I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay live here. Brought to you by Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff. Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling. Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. Need uh, storage, 256-668-0039. Everybody needs storage. I can tell you the place to go. What about Red Bay Nutrition? Everybody needs a loaded tea or maybe one of them uh, meal replacement shakes. Red Bay Nutrition has got you covered. 256-436-0495. If you're looking for a place that supports your Tigers and that's where you want to get your drinks, it's Red Bay Nutrition. Good job there by the Tigers and the Bulldogs tying that one up. 23-17, Tigers will get the ball. Nichols will inbound. So thank you once again, Red Bay Nutritions. And also don't forget about Shopaholics. On the inbounds, the Tigers. Good little job right there on the inbounds. We'll show you that little inbounds play. Guess what? Lindley got it. And Lindley makes it a 23-19 game. Number two heading to the basket. Shot up, no good. Red Bay's got it. Lindley pushing it up, number three. And we're going to draw another foul. Thank you, Ann Johnson with us out there. Mary Cooper, do me a favor. You may know somebody down in Vernon, Alabama that uh, might want to be watching the game. Share it with those folks. 
I promise you there is sound. Charlotte Sims shots. Or everybody would be screaming. No sound. Check your speaker and make sure it's turned on. Of course, you can't hear me if you had not got sound anyway. 23 to 20. Tigers get one free throw out of the trip. 4.42 to go. Jack Ivey, Randall, Lindsay. Number five got it, and she is going to be fouled. Tigers getting in major, major, major foul trouble. Who do you give that one to? I don't know. Randall, you're supposed to have bionic eyes up there. Sure, I'm tickled to be able to have Randall with us tonight. We need to send uh, get well to Scott and his crew. They got a little virus going on. Of course, you, Miss Myra's hadn't been doing doing too good, but she's getting a little bit better. I think the whole bunch has got a virus. Talking about virus, 24 to 20 as they get one free throw out of the batch. Here's Lily, 4.31 to go. Lily drives all the way in, dishes off to Mason on the backside. It's up and good. Let's show a quick replay of that one on our Alpha Insurance replay. There you see Mason on the backside. Great camera work there by the world-famous Randall Lindsay. Long shot. Air ball. Nichols has got it. Scott wanted to know if I'd be able to handle it tonight with you with me. Here's Lindley. Tilted up. And the Tigers, number 14, Allison into the game. Tigers lose it. They pick it up, and they've got a breakaway with number two, but she can't handle it, and it's out of bounds. Well, we get a break there. They was fixing to get a layup. We're down by two. Should be 24-22. And the Tigers' Nichols pass stolen away. They're open in the lane. Shot up good by number three. 26 to 22. We only won by two up at Red Bay, and they could have tied the game, I understand, but missed some free throws. 26 to 22. 26 22. With 3.22 to go in the second quarter. We're live in. Vernon, Alabama. Thank you, Starcia Thompson Hathaway, for watching our ball game. Do me a favor, Miss Starcia. Share this broadcast to everybody you can think of in Vernon, Alabama. They get the steal, and the layup is no good. They're following. They put it up no good. They get another chance. They've had three chances finally out of bounds. They being the Vernon Bulldogs. We always enjoy coming down to Vernon. Randall, I've broadcast a few basketball and baseball and softball and football games over the years. we got a full timeout. And right now with 3.05 to go, it is 26 to 22, 26 to 22. Mary Cooper, thank you. Hey, send me some more messages out there if you're watching the broadcast. My name is Jack Ivey. We got Randall Lindsay getting you the great shots. And uh, this is the Red Bay Tiger broadcast live from Vernon tonight. We'll be covering a, uh, all the Red Bay games in the area tournament, all the Red Bay games in the county tournament coming up. Red Bay boys have added a game on January the 16th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. At, at Winfield, they're either going to be playing somebody like West Blockton or whoever. Coach said, I don't care as long as we're playing. Durali Coburn into the ball game for the Tigers to J.C. Vincent. Remember, three minutes to go in the second quarter. Tigers. Down low, Mason, back to Vincent, shot up good, but we had something happen before then. I believe it's going to be a one and one. 
for Amber Mason going to the line. Tigers are down by 26-22. Thank you, City of Red Bay, your hometown Piggly Wiggly, Sunshine Homes, Builders of Quality Homes since 1971. That free throw on the one and one, no good, but I believe we had a violation against Vernon, so Thank you, Miss Evelyn Williams. Looking and sounding good, or sounding great. That's even better than a thumbs up. And the free throw this time by Mason, no good. And they get the rebound, and we try to take it away. We, we thought we had a jump, I did. And we tried to take it away, and they get J.C. Vinson with her fourth foul of the game. I'm really surprised she was even back into the game. Lindley on the bench with 2.40 to go. She's fixing to come back in. They just give her a, a breather. Twenty-six to twenty-two. Two minutes and forty seconds to go. Jack Ivy and Randall Lindsay here. Outlet pass on the miss free throw to Lindley. Lindley drives in, she's fouled, she'll go to the line to shoot two. Clock stopped at Tigers need every point they can get and miss the first free throw from Lindley. She'll allow another one coming. This one is good. It's now 26 to 23 with two minutes and 30 seconds to go. This is varsity girls. We've got varsity boys coming up. Red Bay B team wins big tonight. Good ball movement by the Vernon Bulldogs. Thank all you Vernon folks for watching the broadcast. As we're live here, I don't think anybody else is broadcasting tonight. We know the folks at the radio station down here, they may be broadcasting somewhere in HID, but I don't see them anywhere, but that may not mean nothing with me. Thompson with the basketball, kicks that ball out in the corner, the long three, no good, it's out of bounds, and give it to the Red Bay Tigers. Bodies hitting the floor everywhere, Randall, with a minute 51 to go. Thank you, your hometown Piggly Wiggly, and Ace Hardware on a broadcast, Red Bay Hospital, thank you, Miss Sherry Jolly, and Barry Moore, your probate judge, and the Tigers turn it over. We've got her double team back there and she lost it out of bounds and it's going to be Tiger basketball. Thank you Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks, State Center to Larry Stutz at Great Taste and Carl Lewis Sausage, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, Community Spirit Bank. They may reverse that one over there. And it is going to be Vernon basketball. Red Bay folks not agreeing with that one. And the shot up no good. Vernon runs down the rebound. Good hustle by Maddie Thompson. Down to a minute 18 to go. The Tigers playing that zone down by three points. Thompson works that ball to the right side to span. And now the Tigers almost get a steal with Lindley. Thank you, Fastway Car Wash. Miss Ann Vincent out on Highway 19. I know your vehicles has got to be looking pretty nasty. Get them cleaned up. Out at Fastway Car Wash. By the way, they're the only car wash in town that supports your Red Bay Tigers. That means something to me, I promise.
locally owned businesses, folks. Support your Tigers. These out of town companies, big companies, they do not broadcast, sponsor our broadcast. I wish they did. And if you got uh, work with one of them big companies, tell them we'd love to have them on a broadcast. That's a walk. 26 to 23, 26 23. Jack Ivy Randall Lindsay here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We've got a lot of folks. Uh, we've been replaying, and we're going we're gonna to be playing even more. A lot of the older games 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. And folks are really loving them. And we're going to come up with some more for you. 26 23 with 15 seconds to go. We're down by three, and looks like they'll get the last opportunity. Brought to you by State Center to Larry Stutz. That great tasting Carl Lewis sausage. Stadium pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton, Marksdale. And your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. 332-79-24. They'll shoot one at the buzzer. And it will not go. Thank you, Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont on a broadcast. Thank these Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. I think are going to perform for us. They are. Serving the area since 1945 in their 54th year of service. Once again, four generations strong, Deaton Funeral Home. What about Triple D's bucket service? Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. David Hester, your county commissioner, District 4. Tiffin Motor Homes, along with Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. By Tristate Insurance, Kim Wells, Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser, right here in Red Bay. 356 4804. I'm going to hush and let you enjoy the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. Thank you, ladies, for coming tonight to Vernon, Alabama. All right, let's listen in. I'm going to turn it up where you can hear them, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, your Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. And once again, uh, halftime score. We'll go halftime. And once again, the Red Bay Tigers. Well, my computer won't let me go uh, halftime for some reason, but uh, we'll go ahead and put the third quarter up if it'll let me do that. Might do it now. Let's see. Yeah, we're at halftime. There's the score, 26 to 23, 26, 23. We're at halftime. And we'll let you enjoy now the Vernon cheerleaders across the way. Halftime score is correct, 26-23, Vernon on top. Do me a favor, we're going to let you enjoy some music. We're at halftime, brought to you by Bay Health and Wellness, Kayla Humphreys, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Mar by Silver Dollar Bargains. Miller's Affordable Furniture, your Superintendent of Education, Greg Hamilton, our school board member, Ms. Casey Johnston, and also Silver Dollar Bargains down in Golden, in Hamilton, Alabama, and down in Tupelo. Silver Dollar Bargains. You can't beat their prices. I'm Jack Ivey, live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Stay with us. Uh, we'll be back with the second half coming up in just a minute on your hometown station. Thank you for being with us here today.
Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're going to the third quarter. And the Red Bay Tigers will shoot and a foul against the Vernon Bulldogs. We've got major foul problems. Got some that's got three. Vincent on the bench with four. And we've got to figure out a way to pull out a big win here over these uh, Bulldogs. Once again, we are now in the uh, third quarter. Thank you, Mary Cooper. Uh, thank you, Judy Pruitt out there with us. Mac Nevlin Williams. I was watching a game the other night, and there's Mac Nevlin in the stands. That game was probably 15 years ago or more. 26-24 as the Tigers get a couple points there from Miss uh, Kaylee Lindley. Seven minutes and 26 seconds to go. Long three-point shot. It's up, in and out, no good. And the rebound goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Gretchen Davis got it. 26 to 24. Lindley on the pass from Nichols. Taking that ball down low to Mason. Mason turns, faces the basket, no good. Rebound Nichols. She'll go back up with it. She's fouled by number 24. There you see the turn and the foul on the Alpha Insurance replay. We're going to go to the line with Nichols to shoot the free throws. Come on, Shelby. We need every point that we can get to win this ball game on the road. Be another area win. We won up there. Now we miss that one. We win by two up there. Is that right? Tigers miss another one and a violation here. We're going to get another chance at it. And the free throw by Nichols up and no good. Rebound goes to Vernon. So they gave us three chances at it. Zoom in a little bit and I'll leave her right there, Randy. 26 24, 6 45 to go. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live in Vernon, Alabama, Lamar County High School. Inside a walk by Juliana Collins. Collins will check out of the ball game. Juliana and Katie both. Lindley down to Davis. Davis, a little bounce pass. Back to number four. Her shot, no good. Inside, the putback, no good. Backside, Lindley got it. Now Davis has got it, no good. Trying to keep that ball alive is Lindley, and Lindley goes up with it. And let's see what we can look at on the Alpha Insurance replay here. You see us fumbling around trying to get it. There was lots of things going home before I decided to do that replay, if you know what I mean. We're going to have the ball underneath our own basket. Trailing by two. And there's Nichols' shot, no good. Lindley goes back up, no good. Mason kicks that ball back out, sliding it and putting it up, no good again is the Red Bay Tigers. I believe that was uh, Juliana Eaton. Remember, she's got foul trouble. So the Tigers, I don't know how many shots we've had, Randall, on just that trip down the floor to not get a score. We're down to 5.41 to go third quarter, 
Taking the ball down low, the shot up good by the Vernon Bulldogs. 28 to 24, we got a whistle and a foul in the backcourt. Blocking foul against uh, Vernon. Little player there from Vernon. Don't forget Red Bay Nutrition Smoothie and Juice Bar and Shopaholics on our broadcast here today. 28-24, the Red Bay Tigers. Lindley shot no good. Vernon with a rebound. They're pushing it up the court. Five minutes and eight seconds to go. Long shot up, three-pointer, good. By the Vernon Bulldogs. And Vernon now leads 31 to 24. And now they get a steal against the Tigers. Number 34, Thompson. And just like that, we're down by nine points. They scored about seven straight as it was 26. And now it is 33 to 24. Live coverage here from WRMG. I ain't even got a calculator, Brandon. Thirty-three to twenty-four. Don't forget, contactless payments are available via Apple and Android Pay from Community Spirit Bank. And don't forget, you can also deposit cash and checks right at the ATM with Community Spirit Bank Spirit Deposit. Bank with some we know. Bank with Community Spirit Bank. Jack Ivy, Randall, Lindsay, live here from WRMG TV twelve and also Television ninety-seven. Well, I want to congratulate the strict man. Chris and his bride-to-be, Beth Chittum, is ringing in the new year the right way. So, uh, Chris Strickland, congratulations on your engagement to Beth. I know you all are awful excited. And uh, so, once again, congratulations, Chris Strickland and Beth Chittum. As Chris popped the question and put the hardware out there, and she said yes. So congratulations, Chris. The strict man. We need the strict man to help us a little bit, don't we? Red Bay Tigers free throw is good by Lindley. Boy, we need to make some free throws, Randall. We need to make more than threes. Thank you, Greg Hamblin. Superintendent and also Casey Johnston, our school board member on our broadcast. Three, five, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15 of the game for Lindley. Her free throw is no good out of bounds and Red Bay will have it. Red Bay trying to get it in. Ball out of bounds. Thirty-three to twenty-five. The Red Bay Tigers still trailing now by eight points in the game. There's a whistle and another foul against Red Bay. That might have been Durali Coburn getting that foul. It's Durali and Nichols and Gretchen Davis, Juliana Eaton and Lindley into the ball game, and their free throw is up good. They are working on uh, getting a win over the Tigers here tonight. 
But we have that little run that uh, we couldn't do anything, couldn't make a shot, couldn't make a free throw, and they were stealing the ball just like that, even though they lost it out. Well, we touched it last. Thirty-five to twenty-five. Long shot, three. It's up good. Number thirty-four, Manny Thompson. And the Tigers. I put the points on the wrong side. Trail thirty-eight, and they steal it again. And now there's going to be an offensive foul. Good job of Shelby Nichols. I'm gonna straighten the scoreboard out here. We're supposed to be 25, folks. J.C. Vinson will check back into the ball game. Remember, I think she's got four fouls. 38-25. Hadn't, hadn't been the best of nights for the Red Bay Tigers. And they're going to get an offensive foul against Vinson. And that foul there, is that her fifth foul? I had her already four. And that is going to be five. I wish I'd showed you that on the replay. Vincent is fouled out. She was actually running along right beside her, and uh, they said Vincent kind of pushed off, and not saying she didn't, but... Uh, 38-25, you got to have Vincent on the floor, too. For, she'll get after you, sometimes a little bit uh, aggressive and will commit some of those fouls. Their number 34 just hit another three, Maddie Thompson. Good job, Maddie. It's now 41-25. Durali Coburn drives in, she's fouled. Forty-one twenty-five. Just a little ago, it was twenty-eight twenty-five. Right? Is that right? What's the score now? Forty-one to twenty-five. So, how many points is that? Thirteen zero run. Randall's got his calculator out over there. And the free throw up, no good. I want to say hello to Andy Deaton out there. Hey, Jackie Eaton, Brenda Elliott with us. If you've shared it, do me a favor. Send me a message and say, Jack Ivey, I've shared it. We're going uh, to put all the names, hats, in a hat. And the, the ones that uh, didn't share gets uh, not a gold nickel, but the ones that share it's going to get a gold nickel. 41 to 26. Durali making one of the free throws. Yeah, that's going to be a walk. Forty-one twenty-six. Red Bay going to take it in. Shelby Nichols. They do a good job. As soon as we take it in, and now we almost turn it over again. We're not making very good passes. Shelby Nichols drives down. The shot is up. It's no good. Durali Coburn the rebound. Durali goes back up. No good. Durali got the rebound again and no good. And she's fouled. Durali says, Jack Ivey, give me a, a Alpha Insurance replay on that. Durali going up. Gets it again. Goes up. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot. Alpha Insurance. John Cook, thank you so much for making these replays possible here today. Forty-one to twenty-seven. <clears throat> Come on, Durali. Durali will have another one coming here. It's good. Forty-one to 
41 to 28 with 240 to go. They make some good popcorn here at uh, Vernon, Alabama. Good ball movement, number 12, the three in the corner, no good. Rebound is out of bounds. Give it to the Red Bay Tigers. Forty-one to twenty-eight, two twenty-one to go. Mr. Reynolds down there came back with a sack load of food earlier, and he come back this time and don't have any. He said they still had plenty. Riley long throw down the court, stolen away. Good steal there by number twelve. Now she turns it over. Coburn's got it back. Coburn for the layup, no good. And Coburn saving it from going out of bounds. Great hustle over there. And now it looks like Vernon is going to turn it over. Jack Ivy Live. Thank you, Miller's Affordable Furniture. Terry and Jason, along with Jason Miller, County Commissioner. Silver Dollar Bargains, uh, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Morrow. They're over here right next door. Miss Valerie is, and her mom, Chris and Valerie, thank you all so much. Your authorized Freightliner RV dealer. Bay Health and Wellness, Kayla Humphreys, thank you so much. Funder Flow, Commercial Residential Pressure Washing, Micah Funderburg. 662-262-3569. Bay Tree Gift Company. Beautiful gifts for any occasion. Bridal and baby registry. Tuxedo rentals. Unique jewelry. Might ought to start booking those uh, uh, tuxedos right now because Valentine's is coming up. You might want to look uh, a little extra sharp. Probably before you know it. we got a timeout. A minute and 39 seconds to go. Third quarter. 41 to 28. What have the Tigers got to do to get back in this ball game? Express your personal style from choosing from Bay Tree Gift Company's wide selection of home furnishings, wall decor, decorative accents. Open Wednesday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday, 10 to 3. And also a big shout out to Predator Pest Control on the broadcast for all your pest control needs. We take care of the termite problems as well. 21 years experience. Clay and Ted Weatherford, they do a wonderful job. You know, Eddie takes care of the hometown folks. 662-315-2841. Dickey Sparks CPA and right here in Red Bay and Iuka Muscle Show, Sheffield Booville and Carney. Cash and Thermal Plastics. Thank you, Franklin Electric. CBNS Bank, Mary Ellen Allen. Sunshine Mills along with Big Star. Thank you, Hal and Shayla. And also Community Spirit Bank. And a big shout out to Sunshine Homes, Builders of Quality Homes. Since 1971, a minute 30. Vernon wanted to get the Tigers out a little bit. Tigers obliged. And the shot is up no good. Thank you, Brenda Elliott. She said she shared it. D.D. Pruitt out there says, thank you for broadcasting the games. I get to watch my grandkids play basketball. Durali and David. Davo and Coburn. I have moved to Bruton, Alabama, five hours away, so it's great. I still get to watch them play. And she said, let me see, I don't think I can see all of it. She said, thank you so much. And thank you, Miss Needy Pruitt. Remember, uh, we'll try to have it either on Facebook or YouTube or both when they're in Red Bay. We can only do Facebook only because of our crazy internet. Uh, got it. YouTube blocked and restream blocked. What I don't understand is I'm in uh, Vernon on their school internet. Guess what? It's not blocked. I go down to Aliceville. It's not blocked. I go to uh, several places in Alabama. And they don't have Facebook and YouTube blocked. And go to Franklin County, it's blocked. So uh, I don't know what they got to do. What? Oh, yeah. They were nice to us down in Aliceville, wasn't they? Oh, man. We may just go down there whether we got a game or not. Lord, we had all kinds of folks watching in Aliceville. It was unreal. 41-28. How many folks we got in Vernon watching? Is it, please say hi to us. They drive in. Good block by Lindley. And we got the basketball. 
So if you're from Vernon, remember we we love to have you uh, watching. And now they say it belongs to uh, Alice. Well, I mean, not Alice and Vernon. I believe that's the right call anyway. They turn it over, and we've got it. Young lady goes into the stands. We go for the layup. No good. Nichols had it, but lost it out of bounds. All in all. Scare me going into the stands, don't you? 26 seconds to go. I want to say hello to Carl and Karen Louie back up on 247. They're hoping to be able to be at the game tomorrow night. Belmont and Red Bay will be there covering it for you. It'll be on my Facebook page. Long three-point shot in and out. No good. Dryley Colvin with a rebound. Dryley looks for help. And the Tigers pushing it up. Driving it down the lane. Beautiful play there for the Tigers as the clock runs out. I'm going to show you that again as I put it up. That is a beautiful transition there and on the Alpha Insurance replay. You look at the young lady get the rebound. And she has taken it coast to coast and lays it up good. That is Juliana Eaton on that basket there. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey, live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivey, live here. Got, uh, I was going to ask you how everything's going out at uh, Bay Diesel. How's everything going? <laughs> everything's going great. We're busy. <laughs> I know you need to say go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. You reckon, Miss Carroll, I could pick. Hey, Miss Carroll. How's everything going at Sunshine Homes? That's good. That's good, all right. Y'all need any y'all need any employees right now? Still be a good idea to put in an application though, right? What if I need a job? I need to put in an application, right? Okay, sounds good. What would I be doing? Oh man. Randall, who got that basket? I was trying to get another job down here with either Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning or Sunshine Homes, Carol Reynolds. Who? Forty-one to thirty-two. Come on, Tigers, let's pull this thing out. We have moved to the fourth quarter, and we can play some defense and get some stops. And there is going to be a turnover. Look at me, Randall. I couldn't. Who got that basket? Nichols. Randall thinks Miss Nichols got that last basket. It's kind of loud in here, so I couldn't hear Randall. Randall, thank you. Inside to Mason. Mason shot no good. She got a rebound. Over to Durali. Durali back and back in. And, ooh, it almost went in. Durali will go to the line. We need to score with that clock stop. Durali's daddy was a. Really good football player and basketball player, Brandon Colvin at Red Bay. Durali, the left-hander, will shoot the free throw. It's no good. Come on, Durali. Memo's watching. Thank you, Christina Vincent and Chris Dicklin saying go Tigers and sounding good. Chris, congratulations. We were talking about you earlier. It was good. 41 to 32. Congratulations, by the way. On the big New Year's surprise. 41 to 32. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay live here and Vernon throws it away. Randall, if we'll get on the stick and keep playing defense and uh, watch your shots, I believe we can come back and win this ball game. We're down 41 to 32. We're on a dry spell there for a while. Nichols throws it away. Tried to go to Juliana Eaton. The pass was behind her. Miss Christina Vincent down in Vernon. Do me a favor, share this broadcast and let me know what it looks like down in Vernon. We're down here with you, by the way. You can see the score at the bottom of the screen, 41 to 32. Six minutes and 30 seconds to go. Three works that ball to the right side. 
We're missing a couple of names that, for some reason, uh, we have got a timeout for Lamar County. Burning coach yelling out the instructions to the team there, 41 to 32, as we have got a timeout. This timeout, of course, here in the big city of Vernon, Alabama. Today's game brought to you by the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Raynard Fabianchi, 209 Hospital Road. Located next to the Red Bay Hospital, whether it's family medicine, sports medicine, or geriatrics, 356-9511. Also, Tupelo Eye Clinic, call us at 662-844-7211. Routine eye exams, uh, glasses, contacts, cataract surgery. One of the best in the business, Dr. Ashley Horn Pickering. She's from Belmont, her husband, Red Bay, so she's hometown folks. And I promise you, she does a wonderful job. And that is going to be an offensive foul against Vernon. And Red Bay is going to get it back with 6-12 to go, trailing 41-32. to We've just got to make some good passes. Lindley working to get the ball across the timeline. Off to Nichols. Nichols working a little one-on-one -on -one there. Comes back to Eaton. Eaton's pass, and we're lucky that she walked with the basketball. Thank you, Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook and Red Bay on a broadcast. Kim Lindsay, so cute for you, does all your screen printing and monogramming. 256-668-0142, and also don't forget about Pro Concert, Mr. Terry Hayes on a broadcast. And another bad pass, we've made three bad passes on this trip down the floor. And now we're going to lose it on a jump. Nope. Somebody got a timeout or not? Well, one official set a timeout. And the error was pointing in favor of them, so apparently we didn't get the timeout if we tried to call it. Forty-one to thirty-two, five twenty-eight to go. We are on Jack Ivy broadcasting on Facebook, and a nice play there by the Vernon Bulldogs. That was Mandy Johnson. She has had one great second half. Thank you, Miss Christina, for sharing it. Said it sounds good, looks good. Now the Red Bay Tigers got it. And Riley Coburn with a nice basket there for the Red Bay Tigers. We'll get our scoreboard up to date right here. It's 43 to 34, 4.54 to go. Any more folks joining us in Vernon? Welcome to our broadcast here on WRMG. It's on Jack Ivy Broadcasting. We're also on YouTube. You just go to YouTube if you've got a smart TV. I advise you to do that. You'll, you'd have to come back to Facebook to tell us anything, but... You can go to YouTube on your smart TV and just search Jack Ivy and click on the picture and you'll see the live shot there. And we're streaming in high definition live here in Vernon. Down low, the shot up, no good. They kick it back to a teammate, her shot, no good. And now the Red Bay Tigers come out of there with it. We needed a stop on that end of the court. We need a basket here. Lindley drives all the way in, no good. And the rebound goes to three to Vernon. They're gonna beat us back. Number two for the layup, it's up and good. That is Anna Spann with that one. Colburn and the Red Bay Tigers with the basketball. Colburn off to Mason, Mason turns, shot no good. Number five with the rebound. We'll show you an alpha insurance replay on the other end on that transition basket by Vernon. You see her back, she goes to the layup. That's why the Tigers are behind, not getting back. And uh, too many turnovers, bad passes, missed free throws, you name it. We've had it here in Vernon tonight, 45 to 34. Vernon with the basketball. 24, by the way, is Katie Collins. 
34 there is Maddie Thompson. Maddie down the middle of the lane, kicks it out. Long three-point shot. No good by Juliana Collins. Guess what? They get it right back. Red Bay won the game up there in Red Bay. Tigers also beat Winston County up there, and we lost to Sullivan on the road, so this game big time important, and the Tigers get a steal. And now number 34 picks the pocket of Lindley and goes to the layup. She missed it, and guess what? Nobody there to help Lindley out on the rebound as she went to the floor, and 47 to 34. Juliana Eaton with the basketball. Back to Nichols. Nichols stops. Jump shot. No good. And we're going to have a jump. Red Bay will get the basketball. Live coverage here on the IP Broadcasting Company. We are in the big city. Uh, Vernon, Alabama. Nichols drives in, pulls up shot, in and out, no good. Rebound, Collins. Down to Thompson for the layup, it's up good. 48-34, make it 49-34. It was, I had it right. I'll leave it long just for a second because it looks like they're going to get a basket. Tigers, actually the score is 49-34. Down to Lindley. Lindley shot, no good, and a whistle and a foul. We'll correct that score for you. Number 20 checking into the ball game is Ava Salters. Don't forget you can uh, need a loan or new checking account. Contact a Community Spirit Banker. Get started today. Community Spirit Bank. <laughs> Lindley with the free throw. She'll have another one coming. That'll make it 49 to 36 and a timeout. Two minutes and 16 seconds to go. We've got boys action coming up in a minute. Randall's going to go over some of our sponsors here before the boys game. Thank you, Pro Concert Terry Hayes. Uh, got a church or a company that needs a new sound system. Maybe need some automated cameras, uh, maybe a streaming setup. Maybe you need uh, some musical instruments. Randall, can you play any kind of musical instrument? Can you play a piano? They service about everything in house. They're in Chippewa. They come to Red Bay all the time. Terry Hayes. They've done just about all the churches and Red Bay's systems. Thank you, Bliss Aesthetics. Uh, she believes that. Self-care is for all genders, races, and religions, and are welcome. So very proud to serve the Red Bay area, striving to provide services and cultivate a safe, calming space to relax and escape from the chaos of everyday life. You'll leave feeling like the most rejuvenated self. For bookings, 256-460-9547. That is Beverly Winchester Green. Tigers. They're going to be foul on the backcourt. Lindley didn't see. She had a teammate wide open down the floor. She was trying to get that ball down first. Appreciate Brandon Nunley Construction, 256-412-6500. Casey Lott, your attorney on a broadcast specializing in personal injury, 662-554-4000. Folks, he's worth the money. You got a need for an attorney. Free throw. The Red Bay Tigers have got it. Coburn 
back to Eaton, went right through her legs and out of bounds. Forty-nine to thirty-seven. Red Bay trailing by twelve with a minute fifty-two to go. Allison uh, up front on that defense. The ball stolen away by Lindley. Lindley takes it, no good. Got a rebound, no good again. She got it. This time she puts it in, good. Forty-nine to thirty-nine. We're down by ten with a minute thirty to go. Tigers a little double team. 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. About 20 points in the ball game. She got 41 up at Red Bay out of Red Bay's 50 points. Madeline Ledbetter out for the season. Got a torn ACL. Got surgery coming up in a few days. We talked about her earlier tonight. Madeline, if you're listening still or you're back with us, uh, you may be, I don't know where, where Madeline is as far as the surgery. I know it's coming up real soon. Tigers get a rebound with the 107 to go. We're going to go coast to coast and lay it up good. And that is Lindley with another basket. We just waited a little late to uh, go on this run here, and we're going to walk as we fall to the floor with 47 seconds to go. Christina Vincent and you all you folks down in Vernon, Alabama, we've got the boys game coming up. Y'all stay tuned for that. We've got 35 seconds. Ball out of bounds, and Vernon's going to have it. Down to 37 seconds. See the scoreboard in behind there, 49 to 41. Burnham will shoot another three in the corner. It's short, no good. Lindley's got the rebound with 25 seconds to go. No good. Rebound the putback is good. And another timeout with the Red Bay. 30 second timeout by Red Bay. 49 to 43, 18 seconds to go. She's probably got around 25 points. <laughs> 49 to 43 with 18 seconds to go. Sixteen seconds. Tigers finally commit a foul at the fourteen second mark. The problem is they're not in a one and one. So Vernon will take it in with fourteen seconds to go. We foul now there in a one and one. And we do. Don't forget the boys game coming up right after this one here. We got about a 10 minute in between. Randall's going to tell you about some of our sponsors when this game is over. Don't forget to don't go too far away. Stay with us. There's Brother David Kelly. He's watching uh, on YouTube tonight. Brother David, I just saw your message. I apologize. 
Thank you, Brother David Kelly and all the folks out at Trinity Assembly. Forty-nine to forty-three, and they will shoot a free throw with ten seconds to go. It is good. Fifty to forty-three. It's a violation. She'll get another shot here. It's up in no good. Red Bay's got it. To Lindley, seven seconds. Lindley drives all the way in, no good. And the putback is good for the Tigers, but that is going to be your final score. 50 to 45. 50 to 45 is going to be your final score. So congratulations to the Vernon Bulldogs and Juliana Eaton getting that, uh, not Juliana, but Gretchen Davis getting that last one. So Tigers got in foul trouble early, and I tell you what, it, uh, it cost us. No doubt about it. We've got the boys' action coming up next. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, I uh, appreciate you for being with us. We'll turn it over to the world-famous Randall Lindsay here in a second. I'm double-checking to make sure that... Uh, I've got my rosters here, Randall, for the next game, and I do. So uh, we'll turn it over to Randall here. Give me about a second. Randall's. Y'all hold on just a second. Boys game is basically getting underway. We've got about nine minutes before we get the boys game started. Deaton Funeral Home in Belmont and Red Bay. Served the area since 1945. Now their 54th year of service. Don't forget, tomorrow night we'll be at live at Red Bay, Alabama, when the Cardinals come across the state line. Oh, two good games tomorrow. First. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick. We try their best to reach all your high reach needs. 662-279-7500. David Hester, Commissioner, District 4. Good luck to the Red Bay Tigers. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro, 356-8661. Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance. Let's see David, Tony, Eli, Richard, and staff, 356-4946. Tri-State Insurance. Your agents are Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser, locations in Belmont and Red Bay. The office in Belmont is 662-454-3304. And in Red Bay at 256-356-4804. Don't get uh, Edward Jones. Mike Jones is your agent up in Russville. That number up there, he's, of course, located at Russville. Market declines, deficit, debt crisis. Don't let headlines derail your long-term financial future. Give Mike Jones a call at 256-332-7924. He has been serving Tishomingo, Franklin, and Itawama County for 25, for 20 years. Stop by the office at 128 North Jackson Avenue in Russellville. Tri-State Insurance, they are licensed in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. Of course, Red Bay office is 256-356-4804. Got some great agents there at... Tri-State Insurance. Bay Health and Wellness. Go Tigers from Kayla Offers and Staff at Red Bay Health and Wellness. 256-376-2036. Bay Diesel and AC, good best wishes to the Tigers from Chris and Valerie Morrow. Miller's Affordable Furniture since 1995. That's Terry and Jason. Open Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 3. Jason Miller, your commissioner of District 2. Good luck to the Tigers, all the Franklin County teams. Don't forget Franklin County Tournament coming up next week. I think we'll be up there about four times next week. So, uh, got a lot of games coming up next week. 
Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Good luck to the Tigers, all the Franklin County teams. Casey Johnson, best wishes to the Tigers. Representing district number five, Bell Green will be hosting the county tournament this year. Funderflow commercial residential pressure washing. Free estimate, 662-262-3569. Your owner is Micah Funderburg. Check us out on Facebook and on TikTok. Bay Tree Gift Company, Beverly Green is the new owner located beside WRMG 256-740-9940. Open Wednesday through Friday, 10 to 5, and on Saturday, 10 to 3. Beautiful, beautiful gifts for any occasion. Right on Baby Rasher, Tuxedo Reynolds, Unique Jewelry, we now have Holly Balls. Predator Pest Control, the insect predator, for all your pest control needs, take care of your termite problems, 21 years experience. Call the man, Eddie Deaton at 662-315-2841. Or call 247-BUGMAN at nextman.com. Smart CPA, be that, that time of the year again. Six locations to serve you. Red Bay, IU, Muscle Show, Sheffield, Boonville, and Corinth. Chuck Cashin and crew says good luck, Tigers. Franklin Letcher, 356-4413, serving Red Bay in Franklin County. CB and S Bank. CB and S Bank, that's... Mary Ellen Allen and staff, I appreciate your business. 356-9547. Sunshine Mills, great cat, dog food and treats. Big Star, Hal Keaton and staff, 356-2521. Don't forget, every one of our three-pointers made tonight is brought to you by Community Spirit Bank. Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Rainer Fabianchi, 209 Hospital Road, located next to the Red Bay Hospital, 256-356-9547. 511 Tupelo Wire Clinic, doc, Dr. Ashley Horn Pickering. Located at 610 Bronson Drive in Tupelo near the hospital. 662 844 7211 for an appointment. Wooten Chiropractic, 331 0208. Located at 301 Jackson Avenue South, downtown Russellville. Alpha Insurance, John Cook, 356 4411. For life, home, auto, and annuities. Kim Lindsay, so cute for you. Located next to Lindsay Winchester and Drapery. We can order just about anything. Call Kim at 256-668-0142 or contact her on Facebook. Pro Concert, that's Terry Hayes. We service almost everything in-house. Church sound systems, media systems, projectors, screens, TVs, automated camera systems, streaming setups, also a full line of musical instruments. Bliss Aesthetics LLC is new to Red Bay. Owner Beverly Green is a licensed esthetician is located at 401 First Street Southwest in Red Bay. 256-460-9547 or Contact her on the website at Beverly Green dot Beverly Green dot Genesis dot com. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Casey Lott, personal injury attorney, personal injury attorney Casey Lott, owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi. I also have attorneys in Tennessee and Alabama as well. 662-554-4000. Brandon Nolan Construction, 256-412-6500. Captains are meeting at the midcourt. Of course, our captain this evening is our only senior for the ball team, number 22, B.P. Blair. Swamp John's Restaurant Canaan, 356-2300, located at the intersection of 24 and 247. Dine in or carry out. Don't forget, today was fish day and tomorrow. It's that chicken on a stick day. It'll be the first chicken on a stick Friday of 2023. Triple H Electronics. David Officer Crew at Triple H Electronics. Sport our Tigers. Go Tigers from Abby Macy Leeton Umphers. H.W. Watson, Kevin and Harold, Low Highway 9 in Vina. Kevin's number 256-460-2815. Or Harold's number is 
662-5841. Dr. Amy Stewart, chiropractic specialist, located at 27 Red Bay Road in Golden, 662-454-7792. We accept Tiffany Insurance at Stewart's chiropractic. Red Bay Tigers making their way over to their respective bench. Lamar County would do it as well. Red Bay Tigers had a big game against the Bulldogs up in Red Bay. Let's see how the this game here tonight will turn out. Of course, Sullivan will still come to Red Bay, and then we'll have to make a trip sometime or another to Winston County. Hopefully the Tigers keep winning so we can host that area tournament. Stay tuned. The starting lineups are coming up. We're about ready to start boys' action here live in Vernon, Alabama. We'll turn it over to a public address announcer at this time. Now the starting lineups for Vernon. get our starters here for you for Vernon. We've got number 1, 2, 12, and 15, and 22. Red Bay Tigers starting Ethan McCoy tonight. Lawson Glover holding in them. BP Blair and Mr. Cody Carnes. Tigers win pretty big up at Red Bay, didn't they? So, Tigers look to remain undefeated in uh, area play. Tigers have already knocked off Fernand once. They've knocked off Sullivan, knocked off Winston County, setting at three and zero in the area right now. There's BP Blair over the corner. Ethan McCoy in the Glover. It's up good. So the Tigers out to a 2-0 lead and steal the basketball, but turn it right back over to number one. He gets a layup. Bradford got that basket to tie it up. Glover to the right side. Now left side to McCoy. Faking it, holding in and pulls up. Shot no good. Rebound comes off long and Bradford will push it up. Bradford there, and he is going to be fouled by BP Blair. Today's game brought to you by Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971, and also by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning on a broadcast. Free throws up good by Bradford. 
three to two. And this one is up good. Bradford with all four points for the Vernon Bulldogs. Six fifty-six to go. BP Blair right down the paint tries to kick it out and throws it a little bit wide out of bounds. Turnover. He tried to go to Hold and Inman over there in the corner. Red Bay Nutrition Smoothie and Juice Bar and Shopaholics in Red Bay. A big sponsor of Tiger Sports here. Bradford is going to be fouled. They get BP on that one again, did he? It's BP's second foul. He'll have to check out of the ball game. Tigers have brought in Connor Humphreys into the ball game. And the ball out of bounds. Red Bay will get it. Four to two the score, 6.27 to go. Tigers turn it over. Here comes Vernon pushing it up. Number 15 with the basketball is Hassel. Shot good. Colin Hassel with the basket. It is now a 6-2 Vernon lead. Red Bay girls losing by five. It was down uh, over double digits, almost 15 there at one time. And came back a little bit, but uh, too late as the Tigers drop their second game in area play. It should put them two and two. They lost to Sullivan, now Vernon. They beat Vernon and beat Winston County. Now the Tigers get a steal. Holden Inman with a layup, it's up, good. Good job by Holden Inman for the Red Bay Tigers. They'll push it up and a whistle and a reach in foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Six to four, the score. Lamar County will have the basketball. After number two, Westbrook. Westbrook working on Inman. Kicks it over to the left side. Bradford shot and up, no good. Rebound holding Inman. Inman pushing it up the court. Goes to number one, McCoy. He missed the reverse layup, and now we're going to go the other way. So it's a 6-4 lead by Vernon. They turn it over, and Glover's got it for the Tigers. Long throw down the court. Hold and Inman put it up. It's no good. The tip-in is up and good by the Red Bay Tigers. Let's show you that little tip-in there. Nicely done there by Glover. Wow, what a shot, Glover. And then they get down on the other end and score. So it is 8-6. Number 22, Braden Carter with that basket. Tigers driving in and a beautiful shot there again by holding in. We'll show you that on the Alpha Insurance replay. See him. And now the Tigers have got it back. Kicking it out in the corner. Humphrey's open for the three. It's up in and out, no good. And we got a whistle and a foul on the rebound against the Bulldogs. You get that inside position, you got a good chance of not only getting the ball, but also a good chance of getting a foul. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Tiger's going to bring in Gage Edgman in the ball game, Kennedy Wyman in the ball game, Ty Reynolds into the ball game to go with uh, Humphreys already out there and holding Inman. Eight to eight, the score. We're all tied up here on WRMG. Driving it in, Edgman shot, no good, he's foul. Edgman on the cut there, gets the basket, 
and you can see the foul there. Hope you enjoy our replays here, brought to you by Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook and Red Bay. Our three-pointers brought to you by Community Spirit Bank. Gage Edgman puts the Red Bay Tigers on top as he makes both free throws. Red Bay's got a 10-8 lead. Good job by Gage. And the Tigers, Ty Reynolds has got it. Tigers pushing it up. Edgman slides, starts to go up, has the ball blocked, but he got it back. Cutter drives, kicks it off to Kennedy. Walman, Walman's got the basket and the foul. We'll show you that ex extension on this one. We kick it back out, we drive the baseline, kick it off to Walman. He goes up and puts it up. And guess what? He is foul, but he'll get the basket to put the Tigers up 12 to eight. Good job by Kennedy Wyman and the Red Bay Tigers. See if Kennedy can make the free throw here. It's no good. 12 to eight the score. Tigers knock it out of bounds. Three thirty-eight to go in the first quarter. Live coverage here from Vernon, Alabama. BP Blair on the bench with foul trouble already. He got two quick fouls in the first quarter. There's a little running shot, no good. Rebound out of bounds. Give it to Red Bay. So Red Bay will have the basketball. Tigers. Cody Carnes back into the ball game. Ethan McCoy back into the ball game. Tigers to Kennedy Wyman. Gage Edgman fake the three there. Cody Carnes to Kennedy Wyman, and they're going to get Wyman with a walk. Thank you, Vicki Self, checking in our broadcast. Folks, if you've not shared our broadcast, please do so. Lorraine Sutton uh, Santi, yay Vernon, thanks for the broadcast. Enjoying from Georgia. Terry Agan Mills watching from Northern California. Good game, Red Bay. It's an honor to have all you folks on our broadcast. we got another foul against Red Bay. Ty Reynolds, I think, will that foul. Kennedy Wildman will check out. Red Bay's got Glover Reynolds into the ball game. Ethan McCoy, Gage Edgman in the ball game. Shot up no good. And that young man there, number five, Cody Carnes on the left wing. Kicks it back, top of the key. Glover goes, kicks it back out. Three point shot, Cody Carnes, no good. Rebound goes off long. And Vernon's got it. Vernon dips it off to 32, but guess what? There, Ty Reynolds stepped right in front and got it. That was one of those sunshine home steals, Miss Reynolds. 12 to 8 the score. Driving inside. The shot is up good for the Red Bay Tigers. Minute 58 to go. And Lawson Glover with that basket. Red Bay up 14 to eight. Out in the corner, number 23 drives the baseline. His running shot, good. That is Rollin Corona with the basket. Randall, number 22, helped me bring in some equipment this afternoon. They'll bring in five new players. Bradford into the ball game. Fourteen to ten. Three point shot. Ethan McCoy up and no good. Rebound goes to the Vernon Bulldogs. Number ten is Tyler. 
He's out at the top of the key now with the basketball. Goes right side to number 33. Coretta, three-point shot is up. It's no good. Glover with a rebound. Glover long throw down the court. Glover tried a long bounce pass, but it was way out in front of Gage Edgman. Fourteen to ten with fifty-seven seconds to go. Tigers down the court, holding Inman, shot blocked, and he'll go to the line. We'll take a look at that. Holden gets the pass there. They tried to block it and committed a foul. Once again, our replay is brought to you by Alpha Insurance. We'll show you that tail end of that play again. Holden to go to the line with 49 seconds to go. Where are you watching tonight? Surely we got uh, all kinds of Tiger fans and Bulldog fans watching. Say hello to your favorite team out there. Say go Tigers, go Bulldogs. Number 12, Connor Humphreys will check into the ball game. Gage Edgman will check out. Tigers with Ethan McCoy, Connor Humphreys. Glover. Holden Inman and Cody Carnes, 15 to 10, Red Bay. And the Tigers get a steal. Holden Inman's got it. Holden stops, tries a pass, and intended for uh, Lawson Glover. It was behind him and out of bounds. These guys put something on it, so if it misses, it, it gets going out of bounds in a hurry. These guys put something on the pass, which you've got to do. Driving that ball in, shot up no good. Rebound, Lawson Glover's got it. 15 to 10. Down to Glover. Glover is fouled on the floor. We'll show you what the official saw there. Cross court pass there. We take it inside to Glover, and you saw the reach in before the shot. Tigers will play it underneath their own basket. Number 12 checking out. Tigers get it into Holden Inman. Inman kicks it out to Ethan McCoy. McCoy drives in for the layup. Won't go. And here comes uh, Vernon with a walk. He slid that pivot foot. And Red Bay will get it on the side and we'll We'll have six tenths of a second, 15 to 10. Randall, you better ease that camera back to get this shot right here. Do you hear me? I'm talking about the shot at the buzzer will not go. 15 to 10 is the score. We've played one quarter. We're live on WRMG, and here's the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are brought to you tonight by Banner Tire Store. Thank you, Mr. Jason Parker, 5H Farms, Donovan Haley, Sophie Hudson and Harper, Ellis Wooten at Brick Driven Realty, and by Gary Armstrong, your doze, your back old man. Red Bay leads 15 to 10. They'll have Belmont tomorrow night in Red Bay. Should be some good games tomorrow night. And a 15, maybe 18 foot jump shot by number 15 is up good. 
That's uh, Hassel getting his second basket of the game. A two-pointer, 15 to 12. Belmont coach Chris Higginbottom bringing them over to tech it on. Coach Carley. Rollins of Red Bay. Down low. McCoy kicks it back out to Humphreys. Belmont lost a uh, starter with a torn ACL, MCL, and a meniscus. Hadn't had her surgery, but going to. That being uh, Reno. Now Red Bay's lost Madeline Ledbetter. She'll have surgery. Fifteen to twelve is your score. So both teams are losing the starter going into the game tomorrow night. That means somebody's going to have to step up the rest of the way. Drive it in, shot up, no good. And there is going to be a jump ball. Red Bay will have it. Ty Reynolds will do the inbound to hold an inman. You got, of course, Mr. Cody Carnes and Connor Humphreys out there. And Ethan McCoy. And we got a foul against their number 12. Jordan Godsey going to be charged with a foul. That is going to be the seventh team foul, so it will be a one and one. Bates, uh, are you a Bates? Do what now? Sixteen to twelve, and the free throw good. And Vernon throws that ball away. And you can see the free throw from Mr. Carnes there on the replay. 17. To 12 to score. Red Bay on top. 6.30 to go. BP Blair got two fouls like I'm talking about the first couple of minutes. He was on the bench. So... He'll probably be starting the third quarter and see how it goes from there. Coach did not want him to get that third foul, and, but guess what? He's fixing to come in. Ty Reynolds down the middle of the lane, has his shot blocked. And here comes number two, hurrying it up the court. That is Westbrook. Now the Tigers steal it back. Ty Reynolds to Carnes, holding in Sees a little opening, splits the defender, shot up no good. Rebound, Bradford's got it. Bradford's not stopping, and is that going to be an offensive foul? It is going to be an offensive foul. Offensive foul there by Alexander Bradford. Now Glover back into the ball game. BP Blair Reynolds will check out. We have got a warning. A warning has been applied to the uh, Lamar County. Vernon coach over there still upset. He got the warning, but at least he didn't get the technical. Lawson Glover drives in off the glass. Good job, Lawson. Let's take a quick look at that on the Jack Ivey instant replay from Alpha Insurance. 19 to 12 the score.
15 drives in, a little turnaround, and a foul against Red Bay. Holden Inman's going to be charged with a foul. I know some folks have eaten a lot of airheads and a lot of popcorn here tonight. Popcorn's good. 14 on the board for Vernon, 19 on the board for the Red Bay Tigers. And now we got a whistle and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers, offensive foul. Lawson Glover got it, he'll check out of the ball game. Nineteen to fourteen, Red Bay leading, and they get the easy layup. Nineteen to sixteen, here comes Red Bay. Ethan McCoy, back to BP Blair. He'll shoot that community spirit three, and it went in and out. And we got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. And Red Bay will go to the line to shoot one and one. Tigers have got another foul. And this one, is that going to be Inman as well? Ty Reynolds will check into the ballgame. Tigers got some foul issues. We'll check that at halftime to uh, see how many fouls each person has got. Who? They're saying it's on McCoy. And the free throw, no good. Ty Reynolds with a rebound. Red Bay leads 19 to 16. Gage Edgeman kicks it out to McCoy. BP Blair way out away from the basket to Ty Reynolds. Tigers Cody Carnes thought about it. Now Reynolds back to the top. BP Blair. Got some good ball movement going, but nothing hidden toward the basket yet. There's a little cut through from Edgman. Kick it back to Ty. Cody Reynolds open for the three. Will not go. Rebound goes to number 22, Carter. For the ball club from Vernon, 19-16. 15 right side, Hassel shot, no good. Rebound, Ty Reynolds. Ty's been all over the board, Jenny. Ty takes it coast to coast, lays it up, and it's up and good. Good job of Ty Reynolds. Let's take a look at that missed shot. Ty got it, and he takes it coast to coast. And there is your Alpha Insurance replay. Ty Reynolds, great job, Ty. 21 to 16. They're running shot off the glass, no good. Gage Edgman. Down to BP Blair. BP finishes, it's up and good. 23-16, Red Bay. Twenty-three to eighteen. After the basket, Tigers down low. Number five, Cody Carnes, finishing down low. Red Bay leads 25 to 18. Kicking it out in the corner, 33, the long three, no good. Rebound underneath, out of bounds, and the Bulldogs will have it. Kennedy Wildman will check in, Connor Humphreys will check in. 
Send us a message and let us know you're still watching on WRMG. We've got a lot of folks watching over on YouTube. Shot no good. Gage Edgeman with a rebound. Red Bay with two minutes and five seconds to go, leading 25 to 18 Humphreys to Kennedy Wyman. Wyman's on the left wing. Cross to Edgeman. Edgeman will shoot the long three. It's going to be a little short. The putback by the Tigers inside, no good. So the Tigers will go to the line to shoot. Cody Carnes at the free throw line. First one good. Red Bay 26 to 18. And the free throw no good. Red Bay leads 26 to 18. The ball out of bounds. It'll go to Vernon with a minute 53 to go. Tigers. Look at number two, pull up with a nice jump shot. Number two, of course, is Westbrook getting that basket. 26 to 20. Ty Reynolds kicking it back. Now to the left side, the long three by McCoy. It's one of those Community Spirit Bank threes. Don't forget, Community Spirit Bank member FDIC. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Need a new loan, new checking account? Contact old one of those bankers at Community Spirit Bank today. And number 15 turns around and gets him another basket. That's hassle. We'll get your scoreboard up to date. It is Red Bay getting that three. Makes Red Bay 29 to 22. 55 seconds to go. Ty Reynolds. Looks for help. We'll get it back out to... Ethan McCoy. Ethan wears number one. Gage Edgeman, number 10. 12, Humphreys, 23. And now we go to Wyman, who kicks it back. Be patient. There's 31 seconds to go. Tigers on the back door to Ethan as he cut across. He brought it all into the corner. And now a timeout, 30-second timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. Second quarter, Red Bay 29-22 to with 25 seconds to go. Yeah, we got Terry Agan Mills watching in Northern California. They got a big storm coming in on the West Coast over there. I guess uh, Northern California and Oregon and Washington, it's already in, I think. They call it a powerful California storm. A couple of people has uh, died in there. Tens of thousands of home businesses lost power. High level winds, flooding rain. And lots of snow, depending on where you're at. Evacuations, a lot of them. Mudslides. So be safe out there. And send us a message if you're watching the game. We'd love to hear from you. Tiger's shot is up. It is no good. Tiger's Ty Riddles has got it. Riddles is shot no good. Riddles has got it again. He goes up good. And a whistle and a foul. Let's take a look at some of that action there on the Alpha Insurance replay. There's Ty going back. Couldn't get it to fall. Ty keeps fighting. Puts it up, and he made it. And that is the replay. Now, folks, you won't get that on a uh, Blake Long broadcast or a Scott Webster broadcast, right, Randall? So when you're with them, you don't get the replay. Oh, 
Only the Ivy man. We're going to change that, though. We're working on adding that to our football broadcast next year for all three schools, if the good Lord's willing. 32 to 22 with five seconds to go. They shoot the long three, and guess what? We committed a foul over in that corner. And right now, they'll go to the line to shoot three with 2.7 seconds to go. That looks good. You didn't think he fouled him, did you? Are you partial? Vernon about to put five new faces into the ball game with 2.7. Free throw no good. He's missed the second one there. He made the first one. So it's 32-23. Number 12 shooting here. Jordan Godson, this free throw is good. So Red Bay will take it in 32 to 24, 32, 24. Now the Tigers will pick it up. Ethan McCoy, half court shot, and it's no good. We're at halftime. I'm Jack Ivey live with Randall Lindsay here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, their score, Red Bay 32, the Vernon Bulldogs 24, 32 to 24. Honored to have you on the broadcast here. I'm not for sure if the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders are going to perform. I think they are. Thank you, Dr. Brad Gentleman, uh, your family medical doctor at the show's primary care. Located 340 Cox Boulevard, accepting new patients. Most insurance is accepted. Medicare, Medicaid. Family medical care, all ages, walk-ins are welcome. 256-383-4473. Also, Thompson Gas Company. Thank you, Dustin Chase Oliver. Bell Haven Heights gifts now open inside Historic Hotel Red Bay. Got the grab-and-go lunches and now the new coffee. Several different varieties, uh, including espresso, frappe, hot chocolate, cappuccino, iced coffee. Call them at 356-2200. And uh, go check them out tomorrow. Bellhaven Heights, Sherry Ferris, thank you for bringing all these wonderful businesses to Red Bay, Alabama. And here's the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. And now the cheerleaders from Vernon.
Jack Ivey once again live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 with the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Moving to third quarter. And Randall Lindsay on the camera there. Randall, I got some good news. I did find out about a name change here that we were not given, and we we'll apologize that. We got this uh, world famous uh, Micah Sims is wearing number 22 tonight. And uh, he did get a basket earlier. His dad's watching in Georgia tonight. He's also got some relatives watching in Utah tonight, Northern California, Georgia, wherever you're at. Send us a message and uh, let us know who you're supporting out there. If you got a maybe a family member that's playing, uh, say good luck, Micah. Say good luck, uh, whoever. We'd love to hear from you, Tiger fans and Bulldog fans. Red Bay leads 32 to 24. We are in the third quarter. Red Bay will lob it inside. And the kick out is going to be touched by Lamar County. So do me a favor if you're watching on the broadcast, make sure you share it, first of all. It's required to share the broadcast. I'm kidding, but it is required. And uh, we hope you're enjoying it. And we appreciate uh, uh, Micah's mom coming up and uh, giving us the information. Of course, she didn't know I was saying it wrong because he was here, but uh, they did move up, I think, uh, uh, Jay Long and Ridge Brown, and also uh, Micah Sims, who got a basket a little bit ago. So uh, we appreciate all of you out there. If you'll send me a message, let me know you're watching. That'll make me feel really, really good. Don't forget, if the Red Bay Tigers are playing, more than likely you can watch it right here on Jack Ivey Broadcasting. Also, it's on YouTube. Just search Jack Ivey. On Twitter, we're on Twitch as well. And we're going to have a reach-in foul against number 22. That is Micah Sims. You won't believe this, but Micah Sims, if, if, if I've still got it right out there, he's the young man that helped me bring in some stuff early this afternoon. Very nice young man. 32-24, Lamar County will have the basketball. Number one, drives by. That's a beautiful play there for that young man. We'll give the uh, two points up, 32-26. Tigers trying to stay undefeated in area play. They've knocked off Sullivan at Sullivan, knocked off Winston County and Vernon, both at Red Bay. And the Red Bay Tigers holding in, turns it over. Holding gets back to knock it out of bounds. And Lamar County will still have the basketball. That ball went out of bounds. Thank you, Shana Humphreys. Good luck, Connor, watching from Golden, Mississippi. Coach Jim LeVet out there. 32-26, 5.41 to go. The ball's in and out, no good. BP Blair with a rebound. BP right side, holding in when fakes. Gets a little closer, kicks it back out to BP. Down to Lawson Glover. Lawson to B.P. Blair. B.P. Blair shot no good, and he is foul. We'll show you the last part of that transition there. You see Lawson with the basketball over there. Watch him kick it coming down the lane. B.P. couldn't finish there, but he was fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot. B.P.'s free throw is up. It is no good. And the free throw that time is good. 33 to 26. BP Blair has been on the bench a lot in the first half with foul trouble. Tigers and a steal and a Cody Carnes. Basket is good. 35 26. They get back and get the easy basket here. Getting that basket was Micah Sims getting his second basket. And that'll make it 35 to 28. 
Good job, uh, Micah there. Red Bay's McCoy of a long shot, three-pointer. That is one of those community spirit bank three-pointers live here on WRMG. Community Spirit Bank member FDIC. Another McCoy three on the other side up in no good. Don't forget Community Spirit Bank. You can uh, deposit cash and checks right at the ATM with Community Spirit Bank Spirit Deposit. Another easy basket for Lamar County to make it 38 to 30. Lawson Glover to hold an Inman. Emmon drives around number two, tries to kick it back out, and the ball out of bounds, and I believe Lamar County is going to have it. Subs are coming in for the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers have got Kennedy Wildman, Connor Humphreys in the ball game, Holden Inman. Gage Edgman and Ty Reynolds in the ball game, 38 to 30. 38 to 30. Number 15 out top, pulls up, jump shot, no good. Holden in with a rebound. Holden on a breakaway. A defender is back, but Holden's going to get that layup, and it will be a timeout for the Vernon Bulldogs. No, actually got an injury, number 15. So they stop the clock. Number 15 trying to walk it off out there. Red Bay's got a 10 point lead. Down low to number two, Westbrook shot up good. 40 to 32, Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting. Long shot holding in. Three point shot is up and good. That is a community spirit bank three point shot. Don't forget contactless payments available via Apple and Android Pay. And we don't get back and they get an easy shot. It is now 43 to 34. Connor Humphreys with a three, up and no good for the right side. Connor trying to come back and get that ball. He is going to be charged with a foul. Hopefully uh, you're watching on the big screen. You know you can go... Now, you can't do this at Red Bay because Red Bay's got YouTube blocked on that at the school. But if we're anywhere else other than Red Bay, like today on YouTube, you can go to your smart TV. Holden Inman tried to kick it back to someone else, and the ball stolen away, and we got a foul against the Tigers. You can go to the YouTube on your smart TV. Coach Humphreys, you're probably already doing that. Open up the YouTube app, search Jack Ivey, and watch it on the big screen in high definition. Forty-three Red Bay, thirty-four, two forty-one to go. And number one. Trying to throw it to a teammate over there out of bounds. Thank you, folks, that have shared our broadcast here tonight. Don't forget, tomorrow night we'll be live in Red Bay. It'll be Red Bay Belmont. We'll be live in Fulton. It'll be Tishomingo County and Etowamba. Kennedy Wildman back to BP Blair. BP drives in the lane. Shot good. Good job of BP Blair. I'll show you that right down the middle of the lane on the Alpha Insurance replay. And the Tigers have got a steal. Down to Connor, Connor for the layup. No, he handed it back. What a play there by the Red Bay Tigers. Good job, Connor Humphreys back to tie. And we have got a full timeout. 
Connor Umama could do that as good as anybody. Whatever, whatever she done on the ball court was always good. She's normally on the scoring end, but she can make those passes too. So uh, she's watching, and uh, she'll be proud of that uh, nice play there, the assist. And uh, let's see if I don't know where I showed that or not. We get the steal. Watch this right here. This will be worth money right here. Look at that. Ooh. Folks, I'm going to even slow it down so they can go back and watch this again. I'm going to slow it down. i got to hit the right button first. Hang on just a minute. All right, here we go. I'm going I'm to show it to you again. There you see Ty getting the steal now. Not only did he get the steal, he pushes it up the court, but he doesn't stop. He goes down, fills the lane, and look at that beautiful pass back. Ty Reynolds getting the basket. So he did it on the steal end, and he finished it off after a great assist there by Connor Humphreys. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Those instant replays brought to you by John Cook at Alpha Insurance. Let him give you a quote and see how much money he can save you. He saves a lot of folks a lot of money in Red Bay, Alabama. Forty-seven might help if I put the rest of the points on there. Red Bay forty-seven to thirty-four. I didn't mean to do that. Red Bay forty-seven to thirty-four. Red Bay out in the corner, holding in and thought about it. Now he drives in, lays it up. It's no good. The putback by Lawson Glover. Red Bay 49 to 34. It's all happening on that defensive end. They go for the layup, it's up good by number 10. Number 10 is Dalton Tyler. Three pointer in the corner, up and no good. Rebound, and I believe there is gonna be a foul. 22 charge with a foul. That's gonna be uh, Mr. Micah Sims. Jackie Eaton checking out with us. Uh, Andy Deaton, Mary Cooper, Brenda Elliott checking us out. Told you about Coach Jim Levette. Vicky Seff, all with us on our broadcast. And the shot is up good. There is uh, the Tigers leading now, 50 to 36. Inside, Lawson shot is up good. Lawson Glover with the basket. That'll make it 52 to 36, Red Bay Tigers. Today's game brought to you by the Cardinal Drive-In. Thank you, Miss Denise. Shauna says you can airplay to your TV from Facebook as well. I thought you had to used to be in the city limits to do that. I'm kidding. I knew you could uh, put it up there. Sometimes the quality is a little bit better if you're watching on YouTube. Is the reason I said that. Uh, that way you're not having to shoot it over to your TV, but. Whatever everybody's preference is, that's uh, no problem. Cole holding in, kicks it back out. BP Blair penetrates a little bit, 31 seconds. Inside to Glover, Glover turns and puts it up no good. And they're gonna get Glover coming over the top on that one. Fifteen seconds, shot up good by the Vernon Bulldogs. 52-38, eight seconds to go. McCoy's got it, three seconds, kicking it back. Inman with a three at the buzzer, no good. We're going to the fourth quarter. 
Red Bay 52 to 38, 52 to 38. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders about ready to perform down low. We'll uh, check in that. We'll check on that right now. Fifty-two thirty-eight with seven fifty-one to go. McCoy on the cut, and it's beautiful. Red Bay Tigers, Lawson Glover, on the feed from Ethan McCoy. Fifty-four thirty-eight Tigers stretching it out a little bit. And the Tigers knock it out of bounds. Good job over there by. Holding them, and don't forget Red Bay Nutrition, Smoothie and Juice Bar, and all the shopaholics on the broadcast today. Barry Cook, CLC Spray Foam Insulation, 256-483-0140. Thank you, Barry Cook. Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent on our broadcast, and another great play by the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay 56-38. BP getting that one. And right back into Glover. Glover couldn't get a handle on it. One reason he was foul. So Lawson will go to the line to shoot. Red Bay with an 18 point lead with 6.52 to go. Red Bay 56-38. Couldn't get the free throw to go there. Down the court, and they're number two. Westbrook with an easy basket. Lawson Glover on the left wing. Looks for help. Comes back out to hold and Inman. Inman back to Glover. Right side to BP Blair. Tigers, good ball movement, not uh, not taking any bad shots right here. And we have got a whistle and a foul against the ball club from Vernon. Westbrook going to be charged with a foul. Lawson Glover sliding that baseline, putting it in good. Let me see that again, Jack Ivey. Sliding it in, shot up good. Good job by Lawson. And we got a whistle and another foul. 58 to 40, this one against the Tigers. Thank you once again. Deposit, uh, uh, deposit cash and checks right at the ATM with Community Spirit Bank Spirit Deposit. They're bringing our three-pointers tonight. Thank you, Brad, and all the staff. On our broadcast. Fifty-eight to forty. Down low, BP Blair's got a steal. 
BP's looking maybe to Edgewin. BP takes it in, missed it, got it again, put it up again, no good, he's fouled. And he'll go the line to shoot. Fifty nine now. Two forty as BP gets the free throw. We're down to five minutes and thirty seconds to go. And Randall. Randall. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. Shot is up. It's up and no good. Ty Reynolds with a rebound. Ty kicks it out of the corner to BP. Connor Humphrey's back in the ball game. Kennedy Wyman, Gage Edgman. There's good ball movement. Ty Reynolds, three left side, good. That's another one of them. Community Spirit Bank three-point shots. And they get back, and we commit a foul. Red Bay 62 to 40. Sixty-two to forty. And the free throw good. Sixty two forty one with a free throw. And the free throw good. Red Bay bringing it down. Four forty six to go. The girls lose by five. B team wins big. And the varsity boys winning big right now by twenty. Gage Edgman penetrates in, kicks that ball back out to Humphreys, back to Ty, back to Humphreys in the corner. Hopefully the broadcast is looking good wherever you're at tonight. Don't forget, we'll be live in Red Bay tomorrow night on Jack Ivey Broadcasting Only. Jack Ivey Broadcasting Only tomorrow night because the Red Bay Internet at the school's got YouTube blocked. Don't forget Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent, along with Neighbors Clinic and also Red Bay Pharmacy, building Donna Weatherford on a broadcast. Cardinal drive in. Humphreys down, kicks it back out. Allen and Ash Harden and Harden hitting and cooling, and we got a foul. Red Bay Reynolds, thank you, Johnny Weatherford. Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff. Also Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971. The city of Red Bay, your hometown Piggly Wiggly on our broadcast here today, Red Bay Hospital. Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Redmond Pharmacy with J.C. Weeks, State Senator Larry Stutz, Carl Lewis Sausage, Stadium Pros, Community Spirit Bank, Fastway Car Wash, your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, and the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Two free throws by the Red Bay Tigers. We lead 64 to 42. Sixty-four forty-two. How much time, Jack Ivy? We steal it. Three twenty-four to go. Tigers bringing it down. Cody Carnes. Cody Carnes thought he was fouled and was trying to explain it to the ref. Cody's just <laughs> so tied, uh, caught up in the play that he's just quit. I'm not for sure exactly what happened. 
But Cody was so tied up in that play, he just kind of quit, was telling to try and trail the referee, try and tell the coach, and they just went on down court, and Cody was, <laughs> he was just pushed with both hands, Cody said. And Cody, I'm so sorry, I wish I had seen that. And I'm sure it's on video. And there's another guy that's pushed. And now they're, Ledbury fans getting fired up right here. We're up 64-42. There was another push. It must have not been as uh, big as the push that was on Cody earlier. We're down to 2.54 to go. The referee talking to one of the players there from Vernon. Free throw no good by Edgman. Rebound to Vernon. Thank you, David Hester, our county commissioner, Tiffin Motorhomes, Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, Tri-State Insurance, and Triple D's Bucket Service all on the broadcast. Thank you, Bay Health and Wellness, Kayla Humphreys, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Silver Dollar Bargains, Miller's Affordable Furniture, Jason Miller, your county commissioner, Greg Hamilton, our superintendent, Casey Johnston, our school board member, and also Michael Funderburg at Funderflow, 662-262-3569. Bay Tree Gift Company, Beverly Winchester Green as we're winding her down. And the Tigers have got a steal. Kicking it out, Gage thought about it, 2.23 to go. Thank you, Predator Pest Control, Spark CPA, Cash and Thermoplastics, Franklin Electric, Sunshine Mills, Big Star, and Community Spirit Bank all on a broadcast here tonight that have made these games possible. Honored to bring the game, 64-42. Holden Inman in the lane, kicks it back out. Kennedy Wildman says, give me one of them threes, no good. The putback by Connor Humphreys and the Red Bay Tigers. Now lead 66 to 42 with a minute 51 to go. Lamar County. And the Red Bay Tigers battling here. This will be the second win over Vernon for the Red Bay boys. Red Bay boys, Randall will be, what, 4-0 in the area after tonight. Thank you once again to Bellhaven Heights. Got the new coffee there. What do you want? Regular coffee, uh, frappe, cappuccino, maybe some iced coffee. Sherry Ferris. Got her going on at the Hotel Red Bay, 66 to 44. We're down to 55 seconds to go. Ethan McCoy kicking it back out to Gage. Tiger's gonna milk a little clock here. Tigers turn that ball over. And they go for a layup, no good. Red Bay's got it. Ty Reynolds. Don't forget Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971 on a broadcast. 20 seconds to go, Belmont and Red Bay tomorrow night. I'm thinking around six, I'll post it just in case there's a change. Belmont and Red Bay tomorrow night. Should be a fun night. We'll have it all right here on WRNG. Folks, we're going to get out of here in a hurry. The final score, 66 to 44. We'll go final. I'm going to say good night to you. May God bless you. We'll watch the teams congratulate each other. We've got to get packed up a long drive home. And Randall, I'm hungry. We'll see you tomorrow night. Randall Lindsay, a great job tonight. You fans, thank you so much. Uh, you Vernon fans, Lamar County, thank you all for watching tonight. And remember, if the Tigers are playing... Uh, We'll have it on the air, and we invite you to join us. 
I'm going to say good night. May God bless you. We'll see you next time here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Red Bay wins the B-team boys and wins the varsity boys, but lose.